Hello. Today we're playing co-op, I think. I'll be honest, I've started this stream and I don't even know if I'm in the flight. But uh, I thought I'd wing it because uh, for the multiplayer flights, and I've got an email about them either. Um, that's from my, my bed. My bed could look a bit tidy, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> so I, I wasn't expecting to be streaming today. I had no intention of streaming. Uh, but the flight kind of just surprise dropped and I was like, yeah, I might as well. Might as well give it a go. Why not? Uh, but like I say, I don't even know if I'm actually technically in. It's installing. Um, but considering I never got an email about any of the multiplayer flights and I was in every single one of them, I thought, I'll give it a go. Why not? I'm signed up. I doubt that I wouldn't be in. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I thought we'd, we'd have a look. If not, I'll just end the stream and pretend none of this ever happened. And you'll all pretend none of this ever happened too. Isn't that right, guys? <laughs> How you doing, Echo? <sighs> I've got to hope I'm in this. <laughs> this is going to be really embarrassing, isn't it? That's why I boot up and it's like, you don't have access to this. You said mean things about a game. <laughs> okay. Don't ask why I've got Roblox installed. I don't know why I have Roblox installed either. I think, well, I had it installed for when I did that, uh, the Robo the Delta Ring video. When I did the funny Halo Roblox mode. Uh, that video bombed so hard. Didn't even get 100 views. <laughs> Can't even access any of it in the US servers. Uh, crowded. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. I'm honestly like, if if this is, if there's that many people on this uh, flight, I'll be very surprised. Considering everyone's like, oh, the game's dead. Uh, your other Xbox console take. What other Xbox console? Bro, this is the only. Huh? <laughs> the service right now is so crowded, it's errors, not letting me download no update. Oh, that sucks, man. It's pre release. Okay, yeah, so we're in, I think. I'd assume we're in. It looks like we're in. I can lower my frame rate. What? I'm assuming all my settings are gonna be. I like sharpening full! I'm in quality mode. Ooh. Okay, is that not an option? Never mind. Uh, I like having my brightness to minus 10. It usually tends to make me... Oh, minus 15. The, lowering the brightness tends to make you look a bit nicer. Now, I heard you can search for... Find a co-op partner. Find players to squad up with for online campaign co-op by visiting the Halo Waypoint forums. Oh, okay. I heard that you could just search for other players in-game. I heard there was a like an actual sort of co-op matchmaking, but apparently that isn't true. So now, I feel a little bit stupid. Uh, <laughs> your saves are undergoing maintenance, so you can't download the updates at all. That's, that's really lame, what the hell? Have they posted anything about that yet? Do you have the option, do you have an option to update? Well, I've already done the updates. This this is the flight. I am on the flight right now. I, mine's already updated. I am in. I just don't have anyone to play with right now. <laughs> I I heard I heard that there was going to be matchmaking. So I was like, won't be that much of an issue. Because I'll just, I'll, I'll just, you know, I'll just search for it. Well, I'll just search for a player, but. That just automatically closes. That's really weird. I have not had any issue with it. Maybe it's because, you know, I'm in the UK and not the US. But I've had no issues with it. Yo! Yo, you did not need to do that. Thank you. What the hell? Thank you so much, Mr. Pineapple Gaming. Hello, my fellow Spartan. How is the flight going and what do you think of it? I've not had the chance to play it yet. I've, it's literally only just finished installing. Oh my god, thank you for the super chat, man. You really didn't have to do that. I appreciate that so much. 
Uh, do you have to be invited for the flight? Yes, but I didn't get an invite and I'm in. <laughs> so... <laughs> I've already had Insider installed. I'm trying to play just closes. I, I don't know. Well, well, before it let me update, it did say like, "Hey, you've got a um, uh." Well, the, it was telling me it was telling me you need an update, but uh, the brain's turning off. Brain's turning off. We will be uh, we will be on with someone in a bit though. Um, okay, <laughs> okay. Everyone's asking how I got into the flight. So basically, if you weren't already signed up to Halo Insider through Halo Waypoint, you will not be able to get in. You have to already be signed up, and then what you're gonna want to do? Uh, you're gonna want to check the Xbox Insider app. If you have the Xbox Insider hub, go on to there. And once you're on the Xbox Insider Hub, you want to go to Previews. Once you're on to Previews, when it loads, give it a second. Uh, once you're on X here, Halo Infinite Insider, there will be the option to click Join. So you'll click on this. It will be on this side. It will be unavailable. If you haven't already clicked join on it, it will be over here. You'll click join on it. Then it'll be here. It'll ask you to install it. It'll, I mean, it might just install 200 megabytes and then ask you to update it. And it will be like a 50 gig update. Uh, it's a pretty big update because it's installing the entire campaign. That is how you get in. Any questions? Have I made that clear to everyone? I love how... Like that's there's there's challenges. Why is the challenges here? That's pretty funny. We will be playing in about fifteen to twenty minutes. I'm just waiting for someone to get on and then we will be playing the game. So right now, I will happily explain anything that anybody needs me to explain as long as I know how to explain it. By the way, and Look at uh look at the look at the cool shit. Magpie Leon shit, how cool is that? That's something right guys. How long is the beta? Um I don't know how long it's on for. I'd assume like a week. Uh that's a very good question, honestly. I don't, I don't know if 343 have said how long it's on for. It's very clear, but the Halo Insider app isn't showing in my Insider app. Did you definitely sign up in Halo Waypoint then? If you didn't sign up in Halo Waypoint, you will not be able to access this flight. You will have to wait till co-op comes out in August. Um, did anyone here try to get into the beta through Steam? I know, so, I know if you're trying to get in Steam, you have to wait for it. They will send you a Steam code. On Halo Waypoint, but if you do not own the campaign on Steam, you will not be able to use that code. You will not be able to play through Steam. You have to own the campaign on Steam first. Uh, so, yeah, I have no idea how long it's on for, though. I have no idea. I'd assume a week, or it might be on for the weekend. It might be on for like three days. Fingers crossed it's a bit longer. Until August 1st, it sent the email. Okay, well, I never received the email. I, I didn't receive the email for the multiplayer flights either. I got into every single flight, but I never receive emails for them, which is just mind-boggling. I don't understand why I don't receive the emails. I just never do. But I always get into the flights. So maybe I'm just lucky. Uh, you need this update, but we can't get it right now. Yeah, that's what mine said at first. So you might either have to restart your Xbox or whatever platform you're on. Uh, that's what I did, and then it just worked. Or you might have to wait a little bit. Um, what about through Game Pass? It doesn't matter if you've got Game Pass or not. Well, if you 
own the game through Game Pass, you should still be able to access the campaign as long as you are signed up. The key thing that you need, well, the, the two primary things, three, I guess, yeah, the three primary things, okay, I'm adding steps on as I go, you need to make sure you own Halo Infinite's campaign, you need to make sure you are signed up on Halo Waypoint, and you also need to make sure you have received an email about the flight or make sure you're signed up on the Xbox Insider Hub uh, and all that sort of stuff. You need to make sure you are signed up on all of that. Oh my god, again, Mr. Pineapple Gaming with another super chat. You seriously do not need to give me money. Oh my god, thank you. Uh, got a question with 343 content issue. Do you think they can do what they did with MCC? Let the community help and build Halo. They're amazing people. Like some guy can play Halo with a custom spot. And absolutely. I think once we have Forge, once we have cross-core customization, once this Tatanka mode, whatever it is, is out, once we have stuff like Infection back and all of the key Halo features, as well as new stuff alongside that, there is potential for this game to do a complete 180 to turn around. However, that may take a year or two. Do I think it's going to all of a sudden be revived as soon as Forge comes out? No. Uh, Forge is something that should have been there from the get-go, and I think a lot of players will come back for Forge. A lot of people will definitely come back for Forge. But I don't think that will save the game. I just think that will maintain its player base a bit better. It will keep it more consistent. Uh, but 343 really needs to be working on content as well, not just the players. They, should, they, sh they shouldn't have to rely on the community uh, to build stuff for their game. They should be doing it themselves. And as long as 343 start consistently making content themselves, then yes, absolutely, this game will sort of have a, uh, a, re a revival arc. Uh, just restarted it. It's updating. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Def signed up, but I'm on Steam and did not get the key. Not sure if it's too late. When did you sign up? I got a Steam key, but not one for Xbox. Are they sent out Xbox code yet? If it's Xbox, you don't receive a code. If you're playing through Xbox, you don't you don't need a key. Uh, yeah, you just you just go on to the Xbox Insider Hub. You go on the Xbox Insider Hub app. You click on there, um, and you'll see the uh, the thing about it there. So, yeah, that's that's that pretty much. It's saying it has an update that it can't get right now. Yeah, okay, so if you're getting that, restart your Xbox or PC or whatever it is you're on, then try again. That's what I had to do. It worked for me. Uh, so try and restart your Xbox first. If that doesn't work, then I have no idea. That is true, and I do believe Season 3 uh, is where it will boom. I don't think Season 3. Um, I Yeah, I... <laughs> I don't think Season 3... I simply don't think Season 3 is going to add enough. And I think Tatanka is basically the main thing that's going to turn this game around. If that is a Battle Royale, or this big massive mode that it's supposed to be, that will turn this game around. And if it doesn't, yeah, then we're in trouble. Um, you think it's too late to sign up for console flights? Yes, if you have not signed up in Waypoint for the flighting program already, then yeah, it's, it's too late. Uh, what if it's Game Pass for PC, though? Yeah, you should still be able to play that version of it. I I know how to sign up through Steam. Well, kind of. I know kind of how to sign up through Steam and on Xbox, but I don't really know how to do the Xbox PC, PC stuff. Um, it, it, you can still sign up for flights. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. You can still sign up for flights, but you won't get into this flight. You'll get into all the future flights, so when they do a Forge flight, you'll get into that. But if you sign up for flights now, it is too late to get into this flight. I've been signed up since forever, but I'm one of the people that didn't get in. Uh, I, like I said, I didn't receive an email or any sort of confirmation. I li it's Literally, if I check Waypoint on my PC right now or the app, I do not have a notification saying that I'm in the flight. I'm just in the flight. <laughs> I'm just sort of in it. So all I can recommend is you go and try and install it. And if you, if you can manage to install it, just boot it up and see if it works. Also, uh, yeah, as long as we have space, because I will, uh, I will be on with someone. So as long as we have space, we will probably invite some people, maybe, possibly.
I'm drinking all my water way too quickly. I'm going to need to run to the toilet 30 times to stream, man. As long as you have the Halo campaign, you can still get it through the inside wrap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. As long as you are also signed up to flights. Like I said, the main three things, you need to be signed up to flights. You need to have... You need to own the Halo Infinite campaign. You will only be able to participate in the flight in whatever platform you own the campaign on. If you only own the campaign on Steam, you can only participate through Steam as long as you get your Steam key. Uh, with Xbox, obviously, if you own it on Xbox or have Game Pass Ultimate or Game Pass, you will be able to sign up through there. And I think the same applies to the Xbox PC stuff. I don't see an update for Xbox. What do you mean? Um, like as in the Xbox itself or for the flight? The, the inside of flight obviously has a different photo from Halo Infinite. It's not a part of that. I'm pretty hyped to jump into this. I really was not expecting to stream today. <laughs> this is a, this is sort of just like not something I expected to do at all. I'm trying to play, but it says update needed. Uh, yeah, so I've said this a couple times, but mine said this when I tried to... Well, I installed it. It only installed 200 megabytes. And then it says that it needed an update, but it can't get the update right now. I restarted my Xbox, and then it worked. So if, if you're having, if, if you are having that problem where it says we need an update, but we can't get it right now, all I can really recommend is restart your Xbox because that worked for me. I promise we are playing the campaign soon. I'm still just like, I, I will be hopping on with someone. So I can't really play co-op until I've got someone to play co-op with. So just bear with. How do I get the flight? Um, right. How are you doing, Lars? So to get the flight, you go onto the Xbox Insider Hub. Halo Infinite Insider. It will be down on this side. You will click it. You will click join. And then you will click install. That is how you get into the flight. As long as you're signed up on Halo Waypoint. If you didn't sign up on Halo Waypoint, if you did not sign up on Halo Waypoint, you will not be able to get into this flight. Have, are you in the flight? Uh, are you in the flight, Lars? Thanks so much. It says getting an update right now, 38 gig. Is that right or am I doing something wrong? That should be right. Mine was 50, but <laughs> I guess it depends. Are you on the Series S? Are you on the Series X? Are you on the Xbox One? I have no idea. Um, have you checked all the stuff, Lars? Have you checked the... Are you, I, I mean, obviously, I'm assuming you were signed up as an insider. So have you checked uh, the Xbox Insider app and all that sort of stuff to see if you're in it?
Bro, it's, it's kind of crazy being hyped about something with Infinite. It feels like it's been so long. I mean, really, season two is only, what, two months old? <laughs> it just feels like it's been so long since there's been something like sort of hype going on with Infinite. Finally, an epic win. <laughs> Series S. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's, yeah. Mine will be a higher file size because I'm on the Series X. The Series S, the file size won't be as high on there because it doesn't need to download, like, the 4K textures or whatever. So that's that's why yours is 38 and mine's 50. So you have, you have more than likely done everything correctly. It's kind of wacky, like, just looking at two Chiefs. It's quite cool, though. I like it. I like it. I would have liked multiplayer Spartans. I'm I'm with you all on that one. But it's still cool. <laughs> Guys, how do I convince a girl to paint herself blue and listen to the entire lore of Halo? Uh, I don't know if that's... Um... Um... <laughs> I don't really know with that one. Don't know how to answer that one. Hey, Nikos, how you doing, man? Offer a free Halo credits? Yeah, yeah, 100%. God damn, we got Nikos here? That's crazy. Or maybe even Blue Team. I can jump on with you if you want. I mean, if you're in the flight. As long as, as, long as we have space. As long as we have space. Too bad it's not split screen. Is the, is the fly not split screen? I honestly would not know. All right, fair enough. Uh, if, if we have room, I will invite people in. This is going to be a litty stream. I hope so. I hope so. Oh, with that, I'm getting a call. We're going all relaxed. This is kind of cool. Hello? Say say hello to the chat. How you doing, man? I just realized... I asked you to say hello to the chat, and I just realized that I had my <laughs> monitor audio turned off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm streaming them forever. Yeah, my, mine just uh, finished downloading. Is it? It's that same app, the Insider app? Yes, yes. Okay. okay, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. I need to add... I should probably add you on Xbox for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll drop it right now. All right, give me two seconds. Who's on? Right, I, I did the uh, did the invite come through? It did not the invite the uh, friend request come through? Yup, got it. Uh, Nico says hi. What's up, bro? It should be fun, man. So I'm wondering, like, is it gonna start from the beginning? Like, do we have a, okay? We got mission replay probably. Okay. Yeah, I, I know mission replays on here, and I know. Um, obviously, it's cool. I don't know if we're going to be able to just start from any mission or if we've got to start right from the beginning. 
Yeah, because I'm like, I never even finished. I'm like halfway through, so I was wondering like if I would just save my pro. Nah, I'm not gonna have the same progress. But... I've completed this game about five or six times. Yeah, I don't know. I was, I think I just was waiting. Like I just waited for this basically, and I like I got halfway through and I enjoy it, but I'm like, I don't know, I'll finish it with my friends. Yeah, no. To be fair, I had, uh, I I have some friends that haven't even played it yet. Uh, wait, yeah, okay. My brother's gonna be joining game too, so I'll join you and then I'll invite him. Gotcha. What do we think? Again, we're, uh, okay, we're probably going to do Legendary, right? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm a heroic guy. I'm a big heroic guy. That's yeah, I think, I think heroic. I'll roll with heroic. <laughs> Alright, All right, there we go. We've got three people. Bro, it's, it's kind of hard being able to play co-op, man. Yeah. I mean, I, when I was watching the stream that the 343 did yesterday, I wasn't super interested. I mean, part of me is like a little disappointed Either. that we've, wait, we've waited more than half a year for co-op to finally release. And it is just yeah. the most basic possible co-op experience. But yeah, I'll take that is. over nothing. Yeah, just with friends, anything like, yeah. Like, I play this game like with friends and I still have like, a good time, like even multiplayer. Yeah, but, yeah. Like, it's like... Yeah, dude, that, that stream had me a little depressed, I'm not gonna lie. I was hoping, like, Staten would just, like, talk a little bit more, you know, about like, the state of it, but instead it was kind of just strictly, you know, show it off and get out. Legendary already didn't happen. No, I think I think we'll go heroic, and then just we'll pretend we, yeah, we no, did legendary. We'll Everyone will just heroic. pretend, yeah. No, Nico, so you could, you, we're not doing legendary, bro. We're not doing legendary. I, uh, I kind of want to keep my sanity for now. <laughs> well, we'll see how hard heroic is first. <laughs> I used to be a big normal guy, to be honest. I just liked, I like, I used to like playing just the story, to be honest. Yeah. With Halo when I was like a kid, you know. But First like, playthrough was always on normal. Second playthrough is on heroic. Okay. Yeah. I've got a, quite a few people asking uh, me to invite them. So uh, basically, everyone that wants to have a game with me, uh, what I will do, since the flight is apparently on until August 1st, uh, as long as you're in my Discord server, I will actually link my Discord server now. I will play with people throughout the week. Okay, nice. nice. Yeah, I said the same thing. I just posted a video. I said, you know, I think this, this is what Discord's perfect for. Like, once we get custom yeah. games forge co-op it's like people just load up on anyone yeah her 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 probably is the best way to play it's like it's difficult enough where everything's still a challenge but you can still experience the story all right i'll uh start whenever you're ready then okay wait, are you my lobby yeah yeah okay we're all on your lobby okay cool all right so we're ready but game okay well, heroic yeah i think it just starts from the beginning I don't think there's... Oh, that's that's unfortunate. But to be fair, it is the flight, yeah. so it's not going to carry save progress over, is it? Yeah, all right. Get ready. Chat. I'm going to be really good at this game. Yeah, yeah. So we all we all get to pick up progress. So, I mean, what's going to be interesting there, if one of my friends decide they want to do, like, co-op and I join them, I can probably join as my version of Chief that's, like, fully upgraded. So I can just go at the beginning oh, of the game... Yeah. With fully upgraded shields, fully upgraded grappling, who can all this? Like the early bosses would right. be absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, I, when I was playing the campaign, I didn't even know how to upgrade. I feel like I wasn't doing it right. Like I, I feel like I had no points, so I was just. My my priority is always grapple. I need the grappling hook recharge rate first, the one that reduces it by like forty yeah. percent or something like that. That is always my priority, because that just that just makes transport so much easier. But then after that, it's like I shall I should probably upgrade my shields about it now. And then after those two, I don't care about any of the other upgrades. I don't use the thruster, the drop shield. Right. I don't really need to upgrade. Yeah. I see that. It's time. <clears throat> Moment of truth, let's do it. We got 39 viewers right now. That's that's pretty high, but. Great, that's great. 
I love this cutscene too, man. Like, I've seen this so many times. It's just so cool. Yeah, skip. Oh, wait, wait, we're watching, we're skipping. We'll yeah. watch, we'll watch. I don't watch mind watching this again. We got time. We got time today. If we get three Master Chiefs, there's no point in fighting at all. Yeah, exactly. Imagine if the other two Chiefs showed up in the cutscene. Like, eight trucks wouldn't stand a chance, man. <laughs> I wish they really did the multiplayer Spartans, man. They, they, they set it up perfect with like, yeah. the, the dead Spartans along the campaign. Like, I don't know. I mean, I tweeted about it yesterday. It would have been really cool. So, like, if if uh, if they added a skull when you complete co-op for the first time, it adds uh, you unlock a skull where you can replay it as your multiplayer Spartan, which they would give it a bit more replay value then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I agree with that. Ah, oh, shit. Man, I wish no joke. Yeah, I wish there was more cutscenes like this. Like the fact that this is the only cutscene that's really like this in the game. Yeah. The other the other cutscenes are all fine. They do a great job at telling the story, but I wanted a little bit a little bit more action from the cutscenes. Yeah. I wanted more. I wanted to see just more of Chief kicking ass. Yeah, I got right up to right after we see the Harbinger. My campaign. The Harbinger. So I don't know if that's halfway yeah. through. Yeah. I can't really talk about like. Late game to you then, can I? I'm sorry. I can't really talk about like the the, the second half of the campaign to you then, can I? Uh, yeah. I mean, I could get it spoiled if I want. I could, I could, <laughs> no, I, I would. I would spoil happen. anything. I'll just mute. I'll just mute. <laughs> I, I, I don't like how the pilot looks without a beard and long hair. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, he looks... He looks like a crackhead. Advertised this heavily. This is the only marketing we got. Is just the pilot doing this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I, I like that that trailer. Like, it gives me it gives me chills every time I watch it. Yeah, it was that. just so. It, it was so weird because we have like we did not know this character yet. It was such an emotional trailer. Yeah. I feel, I, yeah, I feel like playing this campaign a second time, even though I didn't finish it. It, the bright spots are really good about it, I'd say. Yeah. That's what the, the, the campaign is the best thing about Infinite. Like, the multiplayer's okay. Yeah. Uh, the mul yeah. I mean, the multiplayer needs a lot of work, but the campaign, like, I love the campaign. Yeah, it's, I enjoy it, too. Is there matchmaking for co-op or invite-only? I thought there was matchmaking. I saw something about there being matchmaking, but it's only invite-only. It's invite only. I, I thought there was going to be some sort of matchmaking, but no, you, you go on to the game, and it's just like, hey, you should join the Halo Discord server if you want people to play co-op with. <laughs> Or do we uh we still, we still ride it out? We're we're committed to the cutscenes. Uh, it, it's up to you. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't know. I'm, uh, it's up to the chat. I'd say if, if okay, if it's, it's up to chat then. It's up to chat. Do we skip the cutscenes? Do you want to just see us get straight into the gameplay, or do you not mind the cutscenes? Like in the build up, though, I'm getting getting little butterflies. Yeah, it's like oh, we're about to play co-op for the first time. This is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Bro, when the music hits there, it's like, oh. This is what, this is what I like. This, I feel like this is what Halo Four should have did. You know what I mean? Instead of being having Chief by himself, they should have really just found him in space. Yeah, I think that would have been kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. I do. Do you think Halo Four would have been received better had they not changed the art style? <sighs> yeah. Because I could help a lot. I think Halo 4's story is near perfect. Its campaign's super fun. I mean, I know like the AI isn't anywhere near as good as the prior games, but I think it would have been received so much better had they not changed the art style. Because I think that is True. a lot of the time people will just hate Halo 4 because of the art style change and have no other criticism other than that. I hope you 
hope you're ready. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would say like it just amplifies everything. You know, like that's what I would say. Like, if I felt like more, if the art style was normal, like you wouldn't. I dwell on the stuff you're dwelling on. Yeah. It's it's one of I I used to hate the art style for four and five. I've grown to sort of respect it, Grant. Yeah, but I do prefer ones. like Infinite for me is peak art style. Infinite is peak Halo art style. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I love it. Oh wow, I'm surprised they actually left this bit in co-op. This this is usually left out of co-op. Okay, yeah. Um, did that just do that automatically for you? Automatic, yeah. I'm okay, so they left it in, now. but it's completely pointless because you don't like even get to do it. Um, no, the Halo 4 really... multiplayer was pretty crap. I like I really Halo 4 multiplayer. Vitamins, I mean, yeah, it, it does a lot of things that I don't like. Like, it does have some Call of Duty elements, but I think the core gameplay is pretty solid. It's like the ordinance and stuff I don't like, but the core gameplay of Halo 4's multiplayer is pretty solid. i say the same thing, too, yeah. Core gameplay is fun. When I play on MCC, I have a good time. Yeah. I mean, I love I love Big Team Battle on Halo 4. I think it's so fun. Exile is one of my favorite maps. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Tells him he's there, big guy. Hello, like Chief just woken up from a six, like a, a six month nap. Uh, like he, he's he's been stuck in space for six months and he's not even dazed. <laughs> he's just ready he's to just ready get straight back war. into it. Receipt, yeah, me off a nap. Okay, six months. Okay. Going to war. Yeah, the music's just perfect though. Yeah, yeah, it's giving me chills, man. It's so good. I I don't like that they changed that line, like where he says uh, I need a weapon instead, rather than uh, I can't I can't remember what he said in the original trailer, but I think the line yeah. in the original trailer was a bit cooler. I think you just said like, yeah, I think you just said like I'm going. Uh, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to remember what he says. I was gonna look it up, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> okay, we're about to start. We're about to start. Here we go. Oh yeah, I've apparently got no skulls and everything. That's cool. That's, that's cool. At least the area and the ordnance drops. I didn't like the competitive in that game. I really don't like. Uh, oh yeah, he says no. We need to fight. Yeah, no, that was that was way cooler. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, he said we need to fight. Yeah, I I knew it was something along those lines. I just can't remember. Um. But no, I like I did, yeah I didn't like I didn't like the ordinance in Halo Four, but overall I thought the gameplay was pretty solid. I mean, I don't dislike Halo Four's ranked because I think it's bad, but I grinded it on MCC during like uh, during like peak COVID. I was grinding it for uh, some like DMR skin, and I was on it every day. I was streaming every night for like four to five hours a night playing Halo 4 ranked to try and unlock this DMR skin. I don't even use the DMR. I don't even use the DMR. Yeah. <laughs> and I was grinding like, to get to rank 15. It would just uh, it would just be like every night, I'd start the stream, I'd be rank 14. I needed to get to rank 15 to complete this challenge. I'd start at rank 14 and I'd finish the stream at rank 12. Wow. And I would just feel like so emotionally exhausted. Bro, there's three chiefs. This is cool. <laughs> this is co-op, everyone. This is co-op. There's three of us here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me, give me the notification like a mid-grapple. Thanks, game. So apparently some of the enemy behaviors are like a bit different. I'm curious to know yeah. how that's going to affect anything. 
true. Like, I really sort of, can't see it being that much different, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I saw the boss battle, they did juice him up a lot. But I just... Is this is this brute gonna just tank all of us? Oh my god, we're at sixty viewers. That that is that is the highest view count I've ever had yeah, on a stream. Like like the stream, it's at two hundred. Uh. Hey everyone. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's still up. Yeah, he, he was still easy to deal with. He was still That's absolutely true. nothing. Oh, here we go. Get the infinite ammo skull. Which one is the infinite ammo skull? People keep telling me about this. Granted, I don't think infinite ammo is fun. I don't think that makes the game more fun. Yeah. I just go bare bones. I don't do skulls. Pardon? I, I just go bare bones. I don't do skulls usually. Oh, uh, yeah. I will, I, I will, like, find the skull. To be fair, when I've been replaying it, I'll use boom and cowbell. So I can do the funny yeah, mint yeah. blitz thing where I, like, I just fire myself across the map. Yeah. I think it's probably just because I don't know a lot of them. So I just... Oh yeah, I mean sometimes I use Grunt Birthday Party too, and then you know the one that I, like oh, increases great, yeah. the chance of funny dialogue. Right. Yeah, I just Pulse Carbide kind of goated in campaign. Oh, the Bandana Skull. Is that the one you get in the very last level though? I swear it is. <laughs> so many ways that you threw that fusion coil then. I'm so behind right now. For a fusion coil. Oh, yeah, we just like it. We just like ran ahead. Yeah. Oh, oh, jeez. It removes the grapple hook cooldown. Oh, I'm dead. I'm, I'm gone. Oh, so, so you're the last one alive. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, pardon? Oh, I'm the last one alive. Okay. Yeah, you <laughs> How did you two here. die? I don't even know. Bro, what is that? What is that brute body doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Him? I don't, think, I don't think they're that flexible. Crazy. He's just, he's just, he's just floating. Just he's haunted, bro. The light definitely feels a little, you know. Blue box, just subscribe. Thank you, man. Mechanic, but. God, there's Grump Birthday and I, I W H B Y D. I always use it since Halo 3. Yeah, I, I like using those skulls. They're pretty funny. I mean, removing the grapple hoop cooldown sounds kind of fun, but, like, the infinite ammo just doesn't sound appealing. Like, that just sounds like it'd make it too easy, and I don't find that fun. Uh, I've been I've been doing a playthrough right now on stream where I'm trying to beat the game. Wait, I'm trying to beat the campaign on normal with just the plasma pistol. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's, it's painful. Bassus was a torture. Definitely, uh, oh, geez, yeah, the boss battles. Honestly, I mean, Tremonius really wasn't that bad. Like, Tremonius was really easy, considering I was just using a plasma pistol. Chaclock was intense, but I, I didn't die. And to be fair, I only died in it's a Bassis because the game was like, uh, oh yeah, he hit a box and that box like squished you. Like, <laughs> Bassis himself didn't kill me. It was the it was the box that he launched at me. The brute's body was ascending to heaven. Well, I think it tried to. It kept falling back down though. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely lagging a little bit, but like for the most part, it's you know it's playing fine. Yeah. Oh, the first skulls in this room actually. Bro, is he just subbed? Thank you. Let me, uh, let me grab the skull. I don't know why I'm bothering grabbing the skull. It's not like I actually gain anything from this. <laughs> Guys, is this available on PC? Yes, this is available on PC. Oh, wait. Is this actually... Where is the skull? Am I in the wrong one? I'm in the wrong one, aren't I? Absolute monkey brain. It's going to be really cool once we get to that open world. Yeah, yeah. It is and it isn't. I mean, I'm really disappointed about the border. I think that is a really stupid yeah, feature. I just thought about that. It does kill it a little bit. Like, it, I, I understand restricting players to stick near each other during the main missions, but for the open worlds, sh everyone should be able to explore freely. Like, I wanted to tackle different side missions with my friends, and the fact that that yeah. isn't an option is such a letdown. True. Uh, yes, Mystic Luna, this is available on PC. As long as you sign up to the flight, you can, uh, you can play it on PC. Depending which version of the flight you sign up for, of course. Is this, uh, we're in the, like, last room of this ship now, aren't we? Before we have to do the, the running segment. 
If you teabag a dead brute face down on the floor, it just the max, but you can make it twerk. Oh, I've seen about that. That's really funny. Uh, all right, just tuned in. Any issues? Nothing major. I mean, there's been a little tiny, tiny bit of lag, but I haven't really had any major issues. Just, just a brute body floating to the heavens, but I wouldn't really consider that an issue. Ashram's cool. I love Ashram. A lot of people really yeah. like don't think he's a very cool villain, but I think he's awesome, man. I love the banished. I love everything about it. I like to take the brute brutes, make them a faction. Like I like the aesthetics and everything. I'm yeah, so the, happy. the brutes are sick. I, Infinite has sort of made me like the brutes much more. I mean, to be fair, I guess Halo Wars Two did that, but uh, like yeah. now I don't know which one I prefer out of the brutes or the elite. Yeah, it's like. I don't know. Maybe it's because we've seen a lot more, you know, Covenant. Yeah. We see them far away. Well, it, I mean, it's weird because the elites are only kind of the enemy for half of Halo Two and Combat Evolved. Obviously, they are in Halo Four and Five as well. But like Halo Three, I always yeah. forget there is no elites in Halo Three or ODST. Like as as enemies, they're just yeah. on your side. True. Yeah. Now the brutes. That's when the brutes started. Uh, yeah. Big roll. Are you playing on PC and are you playing with a friend on Xbox? Oh, we're both on Xbox, I think. Oh, you on Xbox? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm on Xbox One. Yep. Oh, you're on Xbox One? Xbox One. Yeah. All right, fair enough. I'm working on upgrade in the near future. Tough idea. Is it running okay for you then? Yeah. Yeah, mostly, yeah. Just a little bit less frames, you can tell. Probably All right, fair enough. Yeah. Is the co-op campaign crossplay? Yes, it is. His voice actor Darren DePaul is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I, if I'm not mistaken, does he voice Jonah in the Spider-Man game? Hmm. When you get there, try to load up three Razorbacks with full... Oh, what, like three Razorbacks full of Marines? That would be absolutely insane. Actually, like, just take a mini army to, like, the side missions. That would be... It, well, to the, to the main missions, that would be insane. Hunters literally yeah. would not stand a chance. Imagine that, three Razorbacks full of Marines with the Arcane Sentinel Beam. That'd be like a war then, yeah, it's <laughs> Okay, a little bit of a uh, desync there. I can see the big uh, ex excavation sites, probably a fun one, like when we get those big hordes. Oh, yeah. There's always like a couple different objectives. I mean, like three towers. Like, if I get one, you can get one. Yeah, yeah. See, so it's like that. That's one thing that annoys me with the border as well, because the one uh, there's a. I mean, to be fair, I bet you wouldn't have got to this one. But one of the missions, you, have, you know, the beacon towers. Yeah. You have to go to four different beacon towers. So it's like, it, the the because there's a border, like it would have been awesome being able to each go to a different one of those towers. But they're all like at different corners of the map. Yeah, like, they really are far away, like, like some of these missions, like that one where you're just going to those different towers. I don't know if it's the same one, like FOBs. Yeah, yeah. Like, 100 meters away. Oh, yeah. wait, uh, wait, how are you all able to play right now? The, the flight started. They posted about, uh, about it on Twitter and whatnot. This is the, the flight. It's not in Infinite fully yet. If you're signed up for the flights, then you can play it. Uh, I don't know. He voices Reinhardt in Overwatch. Oh, that's cool. Currently installing the PC version of the Insider Fly. Oh, this cutscene's cool too. Like, Ashram's just so cool, man. Yeah, when Ashram talks, imagine it's Dr. Samuel Hayden from Doom Eternal talking instead. Do you get teleported to your friend if you're too far? No, you kind of just die. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about in the main missions, but if it's in the open world, if you're too far away, you just die. Do it. Hey, you're playing on Steam because I'm trying to launch it on Steam and it isn't working. No, I'm playing on Xbox right now. Um, yeah, yeah I mean, Steam's a little more intricate. Like, you need to have like a code. Which, I don't know what's, what's the whole deal is on Xbox. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you need to make sure you sign up to the flight, get your Steam code, install it, and whatnot. Yeah. 
The way they made it sound was cop was like your teammates can only be a screen and a half from each other. I mean, the the border really isn't as much. Like I was watching their stream yesterday, and they were like, "Oh yes, this is so much room. You can be so far away from each other. This is really generous." And in reality, it really isn't. Like you cannot be that far apart from each other. Yeah. You entered the keep. Maybe there's just server issues right now. Maybe that's why you can't get in. Uh, all I can recommend is maybe restart your PC and try again. Well, I think I'm gonna die. I'm like, I'm like lost. I'm like lost. I can't find you. Oh, are you that far behind? <laughs> are you just like there's running a, off ahead? There's a running. Uh, how is it? It's really fun so far. I mean, it's you know, it's Halo Infinite campaign, but with multiple people. So you need a code to be able to play. You only need a code if you're on the Steam version. If you own the Steam version of the campaign, you will need a code. But if you're on Xbox, as long as you're signed up for the flight, then you don't need a code. You just need to make sure you check the Xbox Insider Hub. Okay, but I like that. Oh, d did that teleport you or you were actually on the other side? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it does teleport you on the main missions then. I'd assume it would, to be fair. Yeah. I... When I first played the campaign, I died on this part so many times because I kept running to the wrong part. Or I'd like rush ahead <laughs> too fast. Yeah, yeah, I'd like I'm rush sure. ahead too fast because I'm like, oh, this this is just like platforming. And it turns out you have to wait for like a specific platform yeah. to fall. And I was like, why do I keep dying? That's not fair. Or, I'd, or I'd get killed by a box. Oh, I fell off. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm falling, I'm falling. Uh, which way, which way? Oh, it's down there. Okay. Bro, am I even going the right way? I think I am. I don't usually remember going this way. I think I have to go the way. Okay. Bro, I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I think I am. <laughs> I know you know I gotta go left here. Uh once oh wait I will re I will oh. re chat again in a sec. Okay, thank god for the grappling man. I almost died there. Okay. Okay, never mind. Oh we, we recovered it, we recovered it! <laughs> Grapple, I see you, I see you. Oh run! Okay, sometimes it just kind of ungrapples. Oh, I think someone grappled onto me. Yeah, it's like it teleports you sometimes. I think they're through the closed door. Does each player need a code for co-op on Steam? If you're playing on Steam, then everyone that's playing will need a code. What difficulty are you playing on? We're just on Heroic. Wait, so co-op's still not live? Well, the flight is. It's not in the game yet. The flight's obviously to test out to make sure it works. The audio was duplicated. What do you mean by the audio was duplicated? First big, uh, big step forward for infinite finally. Yeah, true, true. That's feel like a good step, really does. I mean, even though it is kind of just a flight. Well, uh, we'll we'll skip the next cutscene because it's just the one where it's like, oh, we need to go here to find the weapon. Yeah, Zeta Halo. See, some people, uh, some people like kind of don't like the grappling hook for the open world because, um, like, it, I was it thinking that. makes you rely on it too much. Mm. Um, which yeah. I kind of agree with, but at the same time, that would be like complaining about Spider Man because it makes you rely on the web shooters too much. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's, the, it's it's not that you need to use the grappling hook; it's just fun to use. Yeah, it's just funny how like you know like we never seen Chief with a grab hook before, so now he's just it, every second. Yeah, now like it's Spider like Chief Man literally gets to swing around like Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, have a different dynamic. Love this view of the ring. Yeah, the ring's awesome.
There's a skip, right? Folks are saying... Yeah, yeah, we can skip that one. Uh, folks are I actually like this cutscene, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with oh, it. yeah, this one's actually cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there was, there was Forge Leaks, like, during the first multiplayer flight. <laughs> There's been Forge Leaks for months. Yeah. There were seven folders. Next, the last thing we got is it showed, them, showed it in the menu when they yeah. streamed the I kind of love the grappling. It's fun to use. Yeah, the grappling is super fun. Oh, I've got like no water left. That kind of annoys me. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't fight Jager yet. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, for, yeah Jager's uh, Jager's quite close to the end of the game. Yeah. Oh no. Forge, I've heard bad things like cash shop for soon. Oh no, that wasn't legit. They're not actually going to charge you for stuff for Forge. Don't worry about that. I can hear two sets of game audio. Oh, okay. Oh no, that'll be because you can hear it through my monitor. I'm wearing headphones, so you can probably hear it through my monitor. I'll turn my game audio down a bit. Tronius, yeah. Tremonius is not that guy. <laughs> I don't know who Tremonius yeah, thinks bullied. he is. Stand up to Asherum, man. Oh, hi, hello. Oh, uh, uh, hello, hello, Amy. Jig is sick. I like him. Yeah, Jig is awesome. Let's do it. Should we drop it in now, right? Spin off, uh, like okay, I, I would love, I would love a story DLC, um, where you get to play as Jagan, like you're hunting down the Spartans and you have to fight Marines and the yeah. Spartans as like mini bosses. That would be awesome. Definitely. Yeah, so you can grapple onto each other, but every time you grapple onto someone, that person slows down massively. Oh, behind me. Uh, crap. Mr. Magpie, what's your opinion on women? What? <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> Yeah, I don't hear the doubled audio now. Okay, yeah, it was it was probably just down to the fact that uh, I'm listening to it through my monitor. Okay, I love how it grappled onto that plasma grenade rather than the thing that I actually grappled onto. That was really fun. Oh, I'm going to kill that brute just because I want his Ravager. Jacker, six six gigabyte of 60 Ready. gigabyte downloaded. Wish I had faster internet right now. Downloaded pretty quick for me, I gotta say. And I'm on Xbox One, so. I'm gonna donate, hell yeah. No, please do not give me your money. Oh my god, I almost fell. Oh, me too. I should have fell. My girlfriend decided to put, oh, so you'll be like, girl, I hate women to me, but not on stream. Okay, so to clarify, guys, I don't actually hate women. <laughs> that is not something I thought I'd ever have to say in a stream. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting cancelled by my own girlfriend. Oh crap, I'm about to die. First death question mark? Or am I... Yeah, never mind. We're, we're good, we're good. I died already. I'm too good, I'm too good. Pardon? No, I, di yeah, I died two minutes in, so... Uh, <laughs> oh no. I'm just like, goated at campaign, I guess. I've played through it that many times. Yeah, I believe it. I can I can beat uh, I can beat the, the, the first three bosses with just a plasma pistol. Maybe more. Yeah, <laughs> we'll find out what next Wednesday. Yeah. Oh wait, no, four bosses. I've fought four bosses, haven't I? I think. 
Hey, what if he loves his parkour? Yeah, full four bosses. I actually forgot that I fought uh, Agilent Resolution before. Oh yeah, he's, he's pretty forgettable. He's, he, well, it's, he, it's weird because he's like, he's one of the best boss fights in the game, but I just completely yeah. forgot about him. Yeah. I only ever really think about it's like the cool Banished as the bosses in this yeah. game. He was like super easy with the Plasma Pistol. Like I thought, you know what? I'm actually struggle here. Like I'm because Bassus was tough. I was expecting him to maybe be a little bit more challenging, but he was super easy. Yeah. Have any important error happened or everything going great? Yeah, everything's going fine. Like literally, although there's been like tiny bits of lag here and there, I've had no major issues. Like nothing at all, which is you know yeah. pretty good. Makes a nice change. Granted, I mean, I know a lot of people had a lot of issues with the campaign, like, when that launched, but I never really ha in encountered any game-breaking bugs. Um, but I know people whose, like, save files just completely corrupted and stuff like that. But I was lucky enough to... I mean, I played through the campaign, like, five, six times, and I've not had any issue with the campaign. So, may yeah, maybe I'm just lucky, but... Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take We can skip this cutscene to be fair. Oh, I forgot. Oh. Uh, do you guys get. Uh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> I'm not even reading that out loud. What? I don't think I want to. You don't want to know. Chat, I'm I... What kind of question is that, my guy? Audio is doubled again. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> Yeah, ch chat, chat, so uh, that's talking about something crazy right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually scared. Check. Kill each other? Uh, you can, but I think because this is like, you know, like a, a this is like an interactive cutscene segment kind of thing. Okay. So I'm assuming as soon as this ends, we can kill each other. That's, yeah, because that's what we need to do. Hello, Nathaniel Bacon. Delicious. Well, you can't nice. jump this. This makes people shut up for some time. I'm tired of hearing complaints everywhere. <coughs> uh, I mean... There is no more normal videos talking... Wait there, sorry. Uh, there is no more normal videos with the comments talking about the video. I mean, I, I tend to have relatively normal comments on a lot of my videos. Yeah, you still have the comments yeah, here and there if people yeah. complain about the game, but most of the people just talk about the topic in the video. Um, yeah, I reckon the yeah. open world might be a bit laggy, but... I can feel it calling out to me. Yes, Roz is my significant other. Um... Oh, oh okay, I might die, I might die. Made. I think one of you almost killed me. me. <laughs> But I, I don't know if this will make people shut up for a while. I reckon a lot of people will be really happy about it because, you know, it's a feature that should have been here at launch. So, um... Yeah. I think... It's definitely I th just a fun element. Nothing like to bring people back. It, it's, uh, it's one of them... Well, a, a bunch of people will probably come on to play co-op, and then after they played co-op, they will probably come off the game again. Yep. Um, but I think it's going to be one of them where you'll have a mixture of people that are like, yes, finally, co-op. And then a bunch of other people that will be like, co-op should have been there from launch. 343 stink. Yeah, not enough. And Very it's like... So not enough yet, but I, I agree. It's, yeah, it's, like, it's one of them where it's like, I agree it should have been there from launch, but at the same time, better late than never. Oh, you almost killed me. <laughs> he just flew in Crazy. from the side and punched you in the spine. I saw, I, I saw it. Magpie, we've been trying to reach you for six weeks. Yes. Thank you for waking up, sir. Huh? <laughs> I think your chat just mess with you this one. I'm so confused. Uh, I'm like, throw you off your game. Oh wow, we've had like yeah. four people join the Discord too. I need to make sure I give everyone their roles. 
I don't have a bot that does it automatically, so every time someone yeah, joins no, my server, yeah. I have to scroll through and like, they need this roll. Yeah, I don't have the real bot. I just have the, the fake one. I tried to force another chief chiefs in each cutscene open world. It would probably be easy to do. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It should lead us to the surface. No, no, I mean, I, I, I assumed it was like a reference to the weapons dialogue, but the weapon tells you you've been asleep for six months, not six weeks. Magpie, are we acting like each other? What do you mean? <laughs> I fell off. Okay, I just got launched into the sky. I think because, oh wait, I you, fell, you fell off like as in you died, fell off. Bro, it's so weird. Like, I'll, I'll like, be looking at an enemy and then all of a sudden they'll just die because, like, someone comes in and punches them from the side. It's so weird. Like, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to playing infinite yeah. with co op. Obvious. I mean, obviously, this is the first time I'm playing it, so. <laughs> yeah. Those videos where people tell strangers to wake up are hilarious. I literally have no idea what you're referencing. Oh, wait. Do we need to. Okay. There we go. Shoot the bridge. Don't really feel like that needs to be a cutscene, but whatever. It's literally just a weapon saying, Wow, you're really good at this game. Like, yes, there is three of us. What energy do you feed off the most? <laughs> Bro, what are you even talking about? Feeds off positive energy, toxic energy, I don't know. I feast Why off that? negative energy. I thrive in the hatred. Crazy question, yeah. Hope it's not that. Oh, some audio log. Why am I? I don't even need to collect the audio logs. I've done them all. Well, I've done almost all of them. Bro, I can't wait to get to Tremonius. Tremonius is gonna get clapped, man. Oh, I forget we get Tremonius. So yeah, I was thinking that like, I guess like once we get into Zeta Halo, on the deeper levels, maybe it gets like kind of harder for heroic. Obviously, is. I mean, when, when they showed Bassus off, like, they handled Bassus so easily. So I'm yeah. really not expecting it to be that difficult. True, I did do that. I think it's one of them where it's like, although they might technically be more difficult, they can only focus on one of you at a time. Yeah, exactly. They should add more health, but... Oh, I fell off. My chat's weird, man. My chat's weird. <laughs> chat, chat went uh, went downhill. Oh, here we go. She was carrying an enhanced shield module. Let's see what I can find out about her. Accessing. This is Spartan Bonita Stone, Recon Specialist. I think having four Chiefs is fine. People complained about not having a multiplayer Spartan. Uh, but the game that had that was Reach. And then Halo 3 and 4 have different cuts. Halo 4 had Chiefs. Like, Halo 4 was just Chiefs. Um, yeah. I think it has nothing to do, for me, it has nothing to do with like, the nostalgia. Like, what, what's right, what's wrong. I just think it would have been... We're going to have this game really cool to have multiplayer spawns in. Look. Yeah, it would have been a really nice, like, additional feature. But that's why I say, like, nice it'd be cool watch. if they just added it as a skull. So it was, like, optional. Yeah, you told, yeah. Um... But, like... So, yeah, that's, you know what? That's what we like from Bungie Halo games. You know, like, we like that, like, extra, you know, kind of... You know, I guess they kind of put on, you know, like, flavor. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, twist on stuff. That, that, I mean, that started to happen with their, their later games. Like, Halo 3 and... Halo 3, you were all different characters. Halo Reach, you were all Noble 6, but obviously that's your character, so you look yeah. however your Noble 6 does. Um, yeah. But ODST, I believe, you will play as the same character, depending on what level you're on. Sure, I believe that. I so, it's like... It's one of them where it's like, there's more games where you all play as the same character than there is where you play as different characters. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's not one of them where I'm mad about it, but it would have been very nice, nice to play as multiplayer spawns. I think it would have given a bit more replay value seeing your multiplayer spawn in the cutscenes. That would have been really interesting. Ross donated a dollar, thank you. We need to 
My partly on income might be the pink to your side. My girlfriend just donated money. That's just gonna get spent on here. <laughs> Go count. Go count. Uh, sorry, I need to catch up on chat. Please, I have a question, you... sir. Okay. What or you just favorite... gotta wait like a month for that dollar. But if, like, if she just went to your room and gave it to you, <laughs> it's like, yeah. I, like I like the, the struggle has to go through. <laughs> Uh, but the rest of the games are pure chiefs. The characters depends on the context. What is your favourite moment from the fake childhood memory you were implanted with, <laughs> bro? What are you on? Again, again deep. Again, wide, not deep. My favourite memory was the memory I have with your mother. <laughs> oh, bro. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being weird. No, that's true. There's nothing wrong with being weird. But there's like sort of two kinds of weird. There's like normal weird and uh, you're scaring me weird. True. Depends on the context of the game because having another Spartan would make no sense in this campaign. Yeah, but at the same time, having four Chiefs makes no sense. Yeah, like we see the Spartans dead. Like, you know, like maybe Chief just found a couple Spartans alive. <laughs> yeah, like having, having four different characters makes sense. Then it makes more sense than four of the same character. But at the same time, it's like it's co op. It doesn't need to make sense. Like there is yeah. four Master Chiefs. How does this make any more, like, more sense? You, you've got seed on here. You need to plant seed over here. Yeah. With this spun it how like it was just I don't you know it's like they over I feel like they overthought it when it came to this like, yeah oh, it's, we're gonna be in well, like, oh, it's, like, it's supposed to be a Master Chief story like okay I get that but like everyone's already experienced the Master Chief story let us just play some multiplayer spawns like while we replay the campaign. Fortunately, I think it's just you know sometimes you gotta give an excuse for stuff and like I'm not calling it an excuse but it's like I don't know it'd be. I don't think it's so illogical to think you would want to be. Yeah, yeah. Four chiefs means four times the fear and grunts. True. Here he is. Here's Cremonius. Oh, okay. It's right now. Let's do it. Cremonius is such a poser. He is. He's like, oh, look at me. I'm so cool and threatening. And then, like, he gets absolutely whipped within, like, 10 yeah. minutes. Well, not even that. Within, like, it's going to be, like, within, like, two minutes. Ten seconds. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of ammo. Perfect timing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Watch those uh, those jackals, really. Oh, we got to take them out first. Yeah, we should probably. Yeah, take we should probably deal with them. No, Bro, look at his health already, man. I got to get a weapon. I don't, I don't even have a weapon. You guys are almost don't kill him. No way. Wow, this is... I don't think we call this a boss fight. That was so easy! That was about like 15 seconds. We didn't even strategize for it. We just... We just went like, let's just shoot him, man. Like, like let's just hey, kill I him. I didn't just shoot him at all. Like, that was all you, you two. <laughs> Crazy. You, you're giving me an attack. Magpie, are you hard of hearing? I mean, sometimes, I guess. Ah, uh, that, that was a... Interesting boss fight. Came and went. He's been trying to reach us for a cause extended warranty. He didn't say the I need a weapon line. <laughs> uh, you see the for me, I don't know about you, the loading screens in like like four four eighty P. I don't know if you see that. Oh yeah, uh, no, I mean my loading screen's fine. I hate that it's the season two loading screen for campaign. <laughs> like that is so annoying. Sounds like not even HD. It's the flat, I guess. I'm joking, but. Okay, uh, chat. Okay, chat. As the one and only Magpie Leon cheat kisser, can I get a hell yeah? <laughs> Anyone who fails will be banned. Remember who your overlord is. Did you get an email or you just download the insider app? I just download the insider app. I literally, for some reason, never receive emails for these flags, which is really confusing. Um, but, you know. Good, I'm glad you didn't hear what I said about you earlier. Bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> that was like a back alley fight over before it started. True. Absolutely battered him. Who is this guy? See my replacement. What are you talking about? Too much whining. Bro, what do you mean? Who's whining? Who is whining? Please let me know. I missed. 
I missed the fusion coils for this skewer. I missed I missed the, the fusion coils that were sitting still. Imagine being the boss, he comes down expecting to fight one Master Chief, but then three more magically appear and start blasting. Bro, I would hate to be Tremonious. Is this a cutscene? I'm just gonna, yeah, gonna be yeah. back in five minutes. Yeah, so. no problem. I want to play the video game. Priority is upgrades. Upgrades, people, upgrades. And then I, there's also the hidden uh, heat wave, the, the heat wave variant. What's your favorite menu item at McDonald's? Uh, I like the Big Mac. But I eat my food plain because uh, allergies and whatnot, so. Um. Yeah, I, I like I like I like Big Mac or honestly just like normal cheeseburger. Oh can I say banana milkshakes? I like banana milkshakes too. Sixty-five people. God damn bro. Is that relaxed I hear with you? Yeah, that's relaxed. Relaxed here. It's pretty awesome. Oh, I see you. I see you, Camoli. Bro, I died! <laughs> I died. That's my first death. Is this the full release? No, this is just the flight. Corp is not fully released yet. Oh, so you keep your weapons when you die. That is also my favorite item. Which one? The Big Mac? What's Leon other the Big Mac? Do you prefer Cortana or the weapon? Oh. The weapon's so unique, but at the same time, it's like I Cortana's been a character we've known for way longer. So I think that's a very hard question to answer. Right, sorry, I'll catch up on chat in a sec. Bro, we got so many people here, that's crazy. But like, he has it playing right. But he's meant to have cheese still. Sometimes they just give him like nothing. Yeah, yeah, it's true. So Rod's not writing everything in one comment. It's giving me anxiety. Yeah, I like how you can find the, the special heat wave here. Granted, I the special heat wave doesn't really feel any better or worse than the normal one. It's just, it's just a heat wave. Literally just a heat wave. Well, we got the sword, we got the sword, and we got the shotgun. Oh, we okay, I'm back, so we're on the ring. We made it. Yes, we are on the ring. Made oh it. my god, I'm opening up a tap map and I'm being shot, and it's like I'm losing health, but it wouldn't let me close the tap map. That was, that's super fun. I have a needle and a mangler, I'm not really too useful right now. You've got what, sorry? I got a needle and a mangler, I'm not too uh, useful, but we got you. Ross needs to be overthrown, bro, what do you mean? Do you think you have magical powers, or like... You see things others cannot. <laughs> Sometimes I'd like to wish I was a superhero, if that counts. That's yeah, funny, man. Halo Infinite, greatest Halo of all time. Next joke, please. Now I like Infinite. I wouldn't say it's the best, but that's simply down to the fact that it doesn't have the content to be the best right now. But I think eventually it will be. It just sucks. It's, it's a shell of itself, you know? So yeah, it's, it's like... Crazy, something I feel like. Once it has the content, I think Infinite could very well become the best Halo. Crazy to think that you know, like they can't, like content. they haven't fixed the engine part of it yet. Multiplayer, like he's still obeyed at that point. If you can't fix simple things in the game. Okay, uh, someone just said uh, someone just said the heat wave locks onto targets after the beam hits the surface. But I just shot four times and they did not lock onto that grunt. <laughs> um, I'll take the fusion. Thank you. Kanye West said it must be clear. Bro, what? What? Um Oh that dynamo just waste shell of itself. Now nah, like in Infinite's a good game. I think everyone that says like it's a bad game, like they just write it off straight as a bad game, like that isn't true. Um like there's a lot about this game that really disappoints me. There there is a lot about this game that really disappoints me, but I would not say that I think it is a bad game. I think it is a good game. That simply does not have the content to keep me invested right now. 
grand I say this, but I'm literally on it every single day to record footage. So it's like it's, it's, it, it's, it very, it's, it's just very redundant at this point. It sucks, you know. It's like if, if you're around for this point, it's like you got to accept the state of the game, or I yeah. think you just shouldn't. And like I respect both sides, you know. Like if it's not your cup of tea the way it is, keep them, you know. Like we should always you know criticize and keep it moving, but well, it won't sound really redundant. One. But yeah, no, I I 100 percent agree. We need yeah. Falcons. Yeah, the Falcon would be awesome. Why am I picking up the armor lockers if it's important? Okay, I, I gotta get the... What's it called? Codings, yeah. Oh, oh but you got the codings. Oh, no, I, that's the first one you got. Yeah, you won't, you won't get it in Infinite. If you collect them on here, you won't yeah. have them in the full game, will you? You'll have to wait for that. I think I have that one, but it's like the four other ones that I don't have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, said Halo Infinite was the best Halo... Oh, right, it was Kanye West that said it. Okay, I do not... To M the SM64 speedruns or video game reviews, I swear. <laughs> okay. We're safe here. LZ secure. I'm gonna turn on my cool energy sword lamp, and then I'll be glowing red. That will be super funny, I think. Oh, everything's red. Oh, okay, nothing turned anywhere near as red as I thought. Like, in fact, okay, the camera is just spazzing out. What is happening? Why did I do this? Oh my god, it oh looks no. like I've got some weird filter on. Okay, I'm turning the lamp off now. I'm turning the lamp off now. This was, until two minutes ago, and now I'm green. Why am I green? I say was because what is going on with my camera? We have 75 viewers. 75 people are here like, listening oh, to, to us. Play cow <laughs> and zero, zero. Halo. Oh, I really need to get some water. I think all the chiefs in co-op in all the games are real in your playthrough or a fragment of your imagination. Like, like chief's just a schizophrenic and forgot to take his meds and he's imagining four other chiefs. Could be. I like that conspiracy theory. Could be, you're right. Oh, we can skip the cutscene. I, I like the cutscenes. I do like the cutscenes, but like, I want to play the game. 79 people? Oh, we about to pick 80 viewers. Oh my god, man. This is insane. That's great. That's great. Yeah. What should I play? Combat of all to reach. It's bad the campaign for four was bad they removed game types halo force campaign i'm literally i'm literally not going to acknowledge that take because that is such a terrible take halo force yeah yeah leave a like exactly halo force campaign is amazing is like actually one of the best like i'm not going to even argue about that that's just a fact infinite's campaign is also one of the best it is amazing it's phenomenal infinite's core gameplay again phenomenal it just doesn't have the content right now but like that doesn't mean the game's bad. Quite frankly, it has a lot of redeeming qualities. Don't get me wrong. It has a lot of bad qualities, but it also has a lot of redeeming qualities. Hey Magpie, do you think Ashram will? Okay, I'm not finishing that. <laughs> I'm not finishing that. <laughs> I'm not gonna read that one. What's up, man? Read I didn't that. think they added this. It's it's just the flight right now. You're playing with skulls activated. No, because we don't have any of them. We've only just started playing the cop flight, so it basically you have to start from scratch. So we don't have any of the skulls on the flight right now. How do I know? Let's okay. What what? Halo Four is the worst. Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary is the best. Bro, what is that? Oh, okay, it crashed. Did it crash or were we just not allowed to play? Oh, nope, nope. Oh yeah, it did crash. It's crazy. That's fun. Yeah, sub sub sub. Yeah, uh, yeah everyone here subscribed. That would be cool. Infinite multiplayer is hard. Customization maps, weapons. The plasma pistol doesn't. Yeah. It saved that pro. The plasma pistol Imagine didn't save our progress. I I hope it did. Um, That'd be crazy. The plasma pistol didn't EMP in Combat Evolved. The commando was a bad idea. The commando was good. Once the bandit is in, it's dead. Bro, you don't even know. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's a bug. Well, I'm I'm still in, so it just disconnected you. Uh. Right. End game of in. The, yeah, the commando was awesome. Um. Yeah, plasma pistol didn't EMP, and we don't even know how the bandit is gonna perform yet. So, like, again, that's like such. A goofy complaint. Like, it's not even in the game yet. You can't even complain about that. Infinite's multiplayer is solid. They patched it a lot better. Uh, pardon? After, uh, I think they patched it a little bit after season one. I love it now almost. Yeah. I, think it's a good uh, one. I will admit the maps aren't the best. Like, the maps are really underwhelming. They're some of the most uninteresting Halo maps ever. I've got, I've, I scripted a video today about why Breaker is the worst big team battle map of all time. <laughs> like, this is the first scripted it's video great, I'm making, uh, and it's yeah, like, why it's, Breaker no. sucks. Crazy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to invite you. Hopefully, uh, you can yeah, start off. Yeah, we over. join you. I think if it lets me. Um, if we're speaking 
Factions. Okay, cool. It just continues. So I think we're good. Five and infinite are the worst campaigns. Okay, I agree on five, but infinite really isn't. Infinite's campaign really is not. Infinite's campaign is solid. Yeah, the it plasma crystal didn't EMP until level three. Right, I should have joined you. Uh, give it a sec. Mm -hmm. Someone subbed. Thank you. Thank you. Smart man. Phantom blue rocks. What? Yeah, I mean, some of these, some of these Halo takes are atrocious. You guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you're all entitled to your own opinion, but, um, but like, no, you're just wrong. <laughs> you're just wrong. No, you're just wrong. That's simple. No explanation. Just wrong. Why is it solid? Bro, it's like the story is really well written. The character interactions, the new characters are great additions. The new enemy faction is super fun to like to face. Uh, the the well written characters, the interactions between the characters. Are great. I'm, I know I'm repeating myself there. Um, I mean, I'm ma I'm working on an entire video on why Infinite's campaign is great. So you know, you should sub and just wait for that, and then, yeah. Boy, I've used the DMR, bro. We don't even know if the Bandit Rifle is definitely the DMR. Like, yeah, all the leaks point towards that, but it's clearly going to be a power weapon, so it's going to function a completely different way. Well, we're all in, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's precursor to the Covey Carbine. Softly. The Covey Carbine came out before the DMR, but alright. <laughs> The needle rifle. Oh, I'd be. I think it's not from the beginning. Like the DMR. I dislike the commando fire rate. Uh, okay, so you oh. don't like the commando, so you think the commando was bad. Okay, co-op was cancelled by the fire team leader. What? I think it wasn't. Right, I just want to make sure. Okay, this is better. All oh, right. Okay. I have to bump it up to legendary after that. Uh, yeah, we can bump up to legendary. I'm down. Yeah, commando is good. Late, if you're but... good with it. I would use it more, but BR is a few feet. Yeah, no, crash, the next crash. Yeah, uh, the battle rifle is definitely one hundred percent better, but the commando, as long as you're skilled enough, like the commando is only bad if you're bad. That that's just a fact. The commando is only a bad gun if you are bad at aiming. The battle rifle is easier to aim with, hence the reason it's the better weapon. Uh, like the commando does take more skill to use. Well, <laughs> um, if you hit your shots with it. It can be hard sometimes, but if you hit your shots with it. He's getting melted. Now. Exactly. The maps on Infinite are also awesome. No, I, I will admit the maps for Infinite really underwhelm me. It does have good ones, but a lot of the maps in Infinite suck. Leon, your Halo hot takes are garbage. You want Cortana to sell on you instead of the Arbiter, bro. What the hell? It's a bad campaign. Story is boring. Boss fights are not all that. Open world is cool. No one really cares about the characters. Who doesn't care about the characters? You are the only person saying this. No, the side missions, yeah, they're, they're kind of repetitive, but because the gameplay is fun, it's really such a non-issue. Like, the, the the gameplay is really fun. The story is not boring, you just don't like the story. Saying the story is objectively boring is, like, a bad take. And the boss fights are pretty solid. Some of them are a bit underwhelming, but some of them are really well done. No one really cares about the characters. The characters are great. Infinite is, like, a Master Chief story. It's, like, it is... It's... The, the problem is, so like, a lot of prior Halo games focus on the plot. They are centred around the plot, whereas Infinite is centred around Master Chief as a character. The plot comes secondary, and the story of the character comes first. Jake isn't dead, he's in a cave. How old are you? What do you mean, how old am I? Why is that even important? Hillary is kind of mid, not going to lie. I love Reach's story, but the multiplayer is my least favorite. I really don't like Reach's multiplayer. If I can beat it legendary by myself, you guys can too well on my own. True, true. Yeah, Halo Reach's campaign is like amazing, but its multiplayer is so mid. Now they're bringing in a battle royale over Firefight. It's not that they're bringing a battle royale over Firefight. They'll be bringing both. And why is a battle royale a bad thing? Please explain how a battle royale would be a bad thing. It did die on Reach. Bro, Reach... Reach is what started the downfall. Halo 4 would not be the way it was if it wasn't for Reach. Like, 343 literally came in, saw the features Bungie added, like the loadout system, and thought, okay, what if we actually expanded upon that? Like, <laughs> really, you have Bungie to blame for all the stuff that 343 did with Halo 4. Not gonna lie, Reach is top three. No, that's, uh... It's fair, because if you were young, then what you would say makes it... No, no, I'm just I'm just not caught up in the past. 
<laughs> being young has nothing to do with it. I'm just not caught up in the past. I can accept new video games. I don't. I don't think everything has to be Halo Three. It's a good mentality. I like that. Pun. That's a good mentality. Yeah, keep that. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's like I mean, it's quite simple, really. It's... The campaign is literally. If you think about it, it really is a bad mentality. Just like look at like, even if it is the best, it's like oh, this is the best. Nothing compares. You know, it's like what's I have to lose. The, the campaign is literally made for children. That was their desired market. What children do you see play Halo Infinite? <laughs> what children? Please tell me what children you see playing Halo Infinite. Has it kicked you out again or is it just loading? It's unrendered, but it's loading, I think. Okay. I think that's what happened before I loaded in, yeah. Sure. Oh, we're good. Infinite doesn't have Forge, which means becoming a funny little ball and dropping landmines on your friends. It will have, it will have Forge though soon. I mean, yeah, it sucks. I'm not, I'm not gonna like sugarcoat it. Like Forge should have been there at launch. The fact that it isn't really sucks. But it made me die right away. Oh, it made you die, but at least you're in the game this time. We got it. Uh, okay, my brother's like not walking properly. He's just sort of sliding across the ground. <laughs> He's paralyzed. The only motive fans thought Halo 4 was bad was just because it was made by a different company. No, I think the art style change is what really rubbed people the wrong way. Battle Royale is a game type for the new generation of game gamers. Consider Titanfall 1 and 2 versus Apex. I don't understand how that's an issue. So, because Battle Royale is for the new gamers, you don't want a Battle Royale in Halo. That That's why you don't want one. That is such a non-complaint. Have your brother doing crazy stuff right now. I don't know if it's maybe just him. <laughs> oh, like, it's it's not like they're taking the regular multiplayer, away. Right? It's not even 343 developing the Battle Royale, so it's not like that would get any less attention. It's not like the regular multiplayer would get less attention either. It's literally, like, just an extra mode that provides a unique experience. How is that a bad thing? If you don't like it, don't play it. It's not like it's going to get rid of the normal multiplayer. No, you're not wrong, dude. I agree. 100% <laughs> agree. The new way of gaming is insulting... It is insulting it caters to a broader audience <sighs> that isn't a bad thing if it's handled well though like yeah infinite isn't necessarily handling its broader audience thing in the best way possible but that isn't a bad thing yeah. if it's done well really you should want that. if you're a fan of halo you should want it to succeed you should want it to have more players yeah and at the end of the day that's what a game does they, they make a game so people can around the world can all enjoy it for an audience you know like then that's everyone's goal for a game not even just Exactly. Make money. Yeah, no, I got what you're saying. I think people see the open world and grappling around and think that it's the best thing ever. I mean, not necessarily, but the open world is fun to explore and is very visually appealing. And the grappling hook is very fun. They just add on to it. The gameplay itself is also solid. Why are people mad at extra gamers? Exactly! Why would you be mad at more content? People will be like, Halo Infinite has no content. This game sucks. They're adding a Battle Royale. No! <laughs> like... <laughs> You want more content, it's a whole you don't new want the content that's giving you. Way to play Halo, it's like, you know, it's not like it's like, okay, I'd get the argument if we, we were just getting a Battle Royale, nothing else, but, yeah. you know? Battle Royale coming will be great for the game, even if you have Battle Royale, even if you hate Battle Royale's infinite needs, any boost in popularity, yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, it 80, is... 80 people in here, it's, it's, it's like it if you're enjoying, and get it to 100, that's all we deserve. Yeah. Um... Unfortunately, it is. Fortnite's base game was Save the World. The game shifted to BR and stuck with it. That's because Save the World flopped and no one liked it and no one played it. Hence the reason it changed its game entirely. Like, it, the game flopped. In the same regard, Infinite is also kind of flopping. But the Infinite, like, I mean, the difference is Epic Games designed Save the World and the Battle Royale. Certain Affinity making the Battle Royale mode. And 343 handled the normal multiplayer. So it's the, they're not ditching one for the other. You literally have no evidence to support your claim. And if you look at the community, who is enjoying it? I'm enjoying it. Relaxed over here is enjoying it. My brother that's in-game right now is enjoying it. <laughs> All the people that are still playing the game are still enjoying it. Hopefully if BR comes sure. to infinite. You know, you know those guys got to look at it for what it is right now. Exactly. Like, it's like, you know, if, if you hop on with friends and you just want to play a shooter, I'm going with Halo Infinite. I'm not saying it's the best game on the market. I'm not saying it's, it's not lacking its potential, but... Content. No, I should have realistic expectations right now. Content I want is what we know, not content Halo never had. So so you want Halo to re-release as the exact same game every time? Because that is, that is basically what you're saying right now. You want the game to release with the same modes every single time and not do anything new. If that's the case, that would get extremely boring. If Halo just released with the same modes and didn't do anything new every single time, 
no one would still be playing it because they just re-release the same game. Then it would be the exact same as Call of Duty, where it just basically re-releases the same game every time. Like, with better graphics. Like, th why would you want that? Why would you not want them to, to, like, reinvent the wheel? Halo Infinite could do a Battle Royale and make a super unique Battle Royale experience that ends up being super fun. You have to give it a chance. You can't just write it off be because you don't like Infinite. Is your brother showing like he's like... He's not, he's like not moving properly. He's just stood still with yeah. no weapon in his hand. He's good though, right? He's playing normal. Yeah, look at the population. Ha ha ha. Smallest amount of people are enjoying it. Isn't it still within like the top 15 on Xbox? Okay. Small population, yeah, but whatever. It's Can't just look at Steam numbers. Argument, but... Bro, not gonna lie. I just want Juggernaut no. back. Yeah, Juggernaut's awesome. Right. If you want to head down, I'll meet you down there. I play Infinite as casual shooter, so it's chill. Yeah, no, that's fair. Just want JFO. Yeah, same. Uh, release with the same modes like Gears worked for. Gears did new modes as well, though. Gears 3 had Beast mode. Gears 2 had added Horde for the first time. They added new modes. So, again, you're literally just contradicting yourself. Gears adds new modes with every single game. Magpie's full in the debate right now. It's not going back. <laughs> yeah. Call of Duty lost its identity because of that. Right there. Okay. Um... I can't, I can't drive it. Someone else wants to drive it. Old gamer truly lived in the golden era when gaming wasn't... No, like, I will admit, like, a lot of stuff about modern gaming is, like, a cash grab. But, I mean, that doesn't mean that every game is like that. Like, that just shows you only play AAA games. <laughs> Steam numbers are a good representation. No, they're not. Steam numbers are, like, if anything, like, 10% of the player base. Probably less. Most people that play Halo play on Xbox. Oh, like that's that's a fact. Same applies to Master Chief Collection. Does your friend have the tank gun equipped? Oh, maybe that is why he's walking around like that. Maybe he has the he has the tank gun. That's why he's like bugging oh, out. Okay. He has the tank gun equipped. Nice. Smart viewer right there. Yeah. True, true. It's like how Pokemon keeps giving gimmicks like and taking them away. It sucks. If it's not broke, don't fix it. No, like I. I agree. I think really it should be when you release with the same stuff and more. Not just the exact same thing every time. But I like when Pokemon does different gimmicks because it adds like value to those to those other games. I just wish they kept some of those gimmicks in. Like I wish Mega Revolution was still a thing. I, I enjoyed Gigantamax. Granted it was just Mega Revolution but again. Um, but like I wish Pokemon would keep some of those gimmicks in. Gears also knew what its audience was. Bro have you played Gears 4 and 5? Uh, sorry have you played Gears Judgment? Oh yeah, Gears knows what its audience is. Then he released Gears Judgment. Okay, buddy. <laughs> I just think Infinite has a slow start right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, listen, all I'm saying is it. All this is positively annoying. Sucking off three four three. How am I sucking off three four three? I have acknowledged bad things about the game. But you're saying everything about the game is bad just because you don't like Number Company. I don't like Number Company most of the time. I think, uh, like, 343 has a lot of talented developers, but the management is garbage. And there is a lot of bad things about Infinite. But I'm not just going to go and say, this game is terrible. Because, quite frankly, I play this game and I have fun on this game. It's yeah, just being realistic, like, you know? Like yeah. I said, you, you can enjoy the game and realize it's not its full potential. Like, yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, I wish we had actual female spawns. Yeah, I think that the fact that there isn't female spawn body types, even though it's, it's not something I ever use, uh, the fact that it's not there, like, they, they tried to uh, make representation better, yet managed to make it worse at the same time. Dude, not gonna lie, has anyone ever sucked off 343? True! I literally play it So you don't like the game, but you play it every day? That is what you're telling me right now. You don't like the game, but you're playing it every day. The thing, he, he's saying he likes it from a pure, just like a Halo standpoint. It has nothing to do with 343. Like, you could put anyone's name on it. He'd still have the same opinions on it. Like, you're just not going to change anything. It's one of them where, like, th there is good things about 343. Like, by that, I mean, I mean, there's some really talented employees at 343. They have some really talented people. I mean, this game literally looks gorgeous. And there is positive things about Halo Infinite. Whether you liked or not, there is positive things about Infinite, and you cannot deny that. Um, but as a whole, as a company, 
343 is very mismanaged and a very like the company is managed terribly and that's what makes 343 a bad company but that is equally as much microsoft's fault as it is 343's um i have the hope for this game it's just the time it's gonna take you know infinite will get better like i have no doubts in my mind infinite will get better it already has gotten better um 343 is doing a good job to around MCC. Yeah, true, but I don't like using MCC as a comparison because that took, like, what, seven years? <laughs> well, it took, like, five years for them to turn that around, so I hope Infinite doesn't yeah, take luckily, it equally well. I was around when it first released, but... Yeah, it, it, like, MCC looks like that way. Worst releases in ever fucking gaming, so... I have 550 hours on Infinite, 2,000 hours on MCC. Yeah, but again, MCC has been out for, like, years. Um, I mean, the fact that you've already got 550 uh, hours. Nicole, you're, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna come neck and neck with those hours once, you know, if you still keep playing it within like a year and a half, you know. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I feel like after 10 years, 343 has failed with Halo. <laughs> I don't fully agree. Halo 5 is such a fun game. Its campaign's kind of like mid, but it's such a fun game, man. I love Warzone. Like, granted, it is pay to win, but <laughs> that mode is so fun. <laughs> If that mode wasn't pay to win, it would be like the best Halo game mode of all time. Bro, I Everyone forgot it was just like obsolete in there. I'm dead. Yeah, MCC currently is like, it's killing it, man. Oh, we got I tanks, cannot say nice. the campaign was memorable. How? I mean, yeah, but that's, that's just you. The launch was not good. I mean, the launch wasn't even bad. It, it, it wasn't... The fact that the launch was bad, everyone loved the game at launch. Literally every single person that played Infinite loved the game at launch. It was yeah. like the first month, people people loved it, and then you had some people point out, it's like this is this is great, but it was it, it was after that first month. If, yeah, know. it was after that first month when people were like, oh my god, we're getting no new content. That's when people were like, I don't like this game. But in reality, comments, everyone man, was like, like pe pe yeah, people like it at its core, bro. Like when you don't like a game, like you, like you the first impression is everything. It's like. People liked it at first because you know you can see all the flaws that were gonna happen. But it's like, you like a game, you just like a game at its base. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And that's what that's why the that's why it is still like succeeding to an extent. Even though yeah, it's exactly. in a you know pretty bad condition. We're not getting the updates we need. So, guys, you can like a game, like you can enjoy a game. Like, separate like the issues of it and like the people who develop it. Like if you like Halo, you just like Halo. Like. You're not gonna get it from anywhere else, and if they did it in somewhat of a good way, we're gonna call it how it is. So that's why they're good. Brother, do not sit here and say the launch was good. I feel like you're living on a rock. Okay, buddy. All right. <laughs> I mean, there's no point in me even attempting to argue with someone that's just gonna agree, shut down everything so. I say because they don't like the game. You guys like... won't agree. It's all right, dude. <laughs> people like it. Some people. Some people don't like it. That's the beauty of having an opinion, you know. Again, like I've acknowledged, the game has plenty of flaws. I literally, most of my videos are complaining about stuff in the game. Like I complain all the time about the game, but that does not mean that I dislike the game. Oh, go, go to my Twitter page. I, the, like recently, all I've been doing is t telling people how much I hate Breaker. <laughs> like, you said you better complain about the map. For like, like Animal Crossing, New Leaf had everything at launch, but New Horizons was like half an glass. Yeah, no, like I agree. Like with Animal Crossing, I mean, I don't play Animal Crossing. I played New Horizons for a bit, but like I agree in the sense that like that game launched with no content, but at the same time, right, let everyone, me ask this everyone loved it. Would you Would you guys rather a, a finished game that doesn't really make you feel as much like you enjoy the Halo? Would you rather Halo you enjoy at its core, or released in a beta state? Like one of those things is changeable, the other isn't. Yeah. If the gameplay just wasn't fun. It's fucked. You know what I mean? Like you're not. There's no coming back. You need a whole new game for that. But because even though the foundation is rocky, it's it's good because we enjoy it at its like a standpoint. So that's what that's the reality of it, dude. And that's why people can like the game. Exactly. It's, I, it's I don't like the game, but I play it every day. Well, really, that's like that's such a you issue. I don't understand why you play a game every single day that you don't like. That is just... I've got no words for that. If you don't like it, why is that too true? Uh, I don't know how to feel about being too tra tapped by dual wield manglers. You want mommy milkers, bro? What? Are you, what? <coughs> Wait, debate, though. I like the debates. Watch the swearing. 
Uh, no, but yeah, like I, I, to be fair, to be fair, although I sound like I'm getting like really annoyed at people, I genuinely enjoy having these sort of debates about the game. It's, it's always, I always find it interesting yeah, to see what other people think about it. It's a good conversation. Everyone has opinions. It's like, it's like, it's like what I said before, before we got in this debate. It's like, you know, if you enjoy it, enjoy it. If you, if you don't enjoy it, then just let, let it sit. Don't even, don't even give the game attention, you know, like, so you think it's worth giving attention. I think. I will. Uh, I'll catch up on China, man. I want to actually play the game. I feel like I haven't actually been playing it. I've just been wandering around oh, aimlessly. That's pretty interesting, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, chat's like, I, this is crazy. This is like the the best stream I've ever had. So, like, thank you all for that. Like that. This is absolutely insane. We are at yeah, ninety two viewers right now, bro. This is like absolutely first crazy. Of co op, like you know, just let's just enjoy it for you know. We know the game's not in the condition we want, but let's enjoy this for what it is. Co ops here, this flight. Like yeah, no, time with it. I, I appreciate that, Dylan. Like I say, I mean, it's completely fine that you dislike the game. Like, I don't have an issue. But thank you for stopping by and uh, chatting about the game. Like, I genuinely appreciate that. Regardless of our very different opinions, I appreciate that. Good. So I, I like that ending to it. But uh, seriously, like, I mean, I think there's a lot of new people here. So subscribe, everyone, because, like, I stream this game, like, every week. And I stream MCC, and I make lots of lots of Halo videos. So, like, you know, stick around, please. Please, please. <laughs> I remember this in the campaign. This is the regular levels, or just FOBs? Uh, or we just did an FOB there. We, we, if we head over to the tower, that's the next main mission, isn't it? It's a pretty big FOB. Wow. Uh, I just wish you could go back and replay missions. That's what they're adding with this. If we go over here, actually, if we were to look over at the first mission, uh, see there in the bottom right, at the, the bottom of the screen, where it says mission options, I can replay the mission. So mission replay is coming too. I sub. I agree with you. Everything. Cheers. I appreciate that, Scott. Um, I'm glad co-op is in, but you crash a lot. Does it happen <laughs> often? No. To be fair, I haven't crashed. Relax has crashed, but he is on the Xbox One. I have not crashed. Actually, I didn't crash. I just it it came. It was loading on, like on a. It was just loading, wrongfully. Like it looked like it was, it looked like it crashed. But I just dashboarded it didn't crash. Oh right, okay. So. Um. Nice. We got a warthog. We got a first marine. Yeah. We can only we can only get a mongoose right now. It's kind of lame. Yeah. Mister Mike Pie, you should stream with Ross sometime. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I'm gonna grab a sidekick. So I'm willing to wait for features like Co-op and Forge because the game at its core, I know they're coming. What has me concerned are the missing social features that allow Forge to shine true. Like, Forge without infection, I feel like, is going to be so mid because you're so limited by the type of stuff you can make. We need we need a, we need a file share. That'd be, that'd be really big if we could not only Forge, but play custom game modes and maps. It'd be really fun. Awesome as replay only in co-op. Once the co-op update, w once this update comes out, this is just the flight right now, but you you will be able to just replay missions in single player and co-op. Drive the wasp and have the other person ride on top of it. We, ha we have to unlock the wasp first. You don't get that until very I mean, late game. If so. you just crumbs at first, they don't. But yeah, no, mission replay is coming out on infinite. So like, you know. I, I, I mean, I can't wait for Mission Replay just, like, it's going to make recording footage so much easier. Because right now it's like, ah, I just realized I need footage from this specific cutscene. I now have to replay the entire game. I'll, and like, I'll give credit, dude. It's like, I want to see more action taken on the things they talk about. But, like, for example, they released the game saying they weren't going to do Mission Replay because of the yeah. open world. And Usually every open world does do that. I'll give them credit. They don't usually have a mission replay in exactly. open world games. I, like, I didn't so. expect there to be a mission replay because it was open world, but I'm very glad it's here because it's going to make stuff so much easier. We gave them feedback and they listened. So we got to give credit when they do you know, actually act upon shit. Because I've played games before. The same complaints for five years when game after game come out and they just don't address or learn from it. So Yeah, exactly. Uh, Wars and Infection should be a new mode. I'd be curious to see how that would work. Like, I'd very much be intrigued to see how that would work. Oh, wait, did I ever get that other oh, I just, I just died. Was it because the... I was too far away? Uh, no, no, we would, we're not at that sort of point yet. We're, we're not that far away from each other where we'd die. Oh. Okay, I've got, I've got the grappling hook upgrades now. Thank God. 
Uh, well, the one that I wanted. I would love them to bring back Halo 5 Warzone, like, without the microtransactions. Basically, sort of blend it with a... Uh, you know the, the big battle mode on Star Wars Battlefront 2, where you have to earn points in match, and then you could spawn in specific vehicles or weapons or characters or whatever? Make it like that. So there's no wreck packs, and everyone can, like, you know, spawn in the same things. I think that would be really fun. Yeah. The towers are such a fun mission. Uh, what about Fight Chaclock, which is crazy. The open world thing was great, I love it. Wow. Yeah, and the open yeah, world's awesome. Uh, I mean, a lot of people don't like the open world, which I find really insane. Like, I get it's kind of annoying that everywhere is almost the exact same terrain. Um, but at the same time, what's there looks stunning, and it's so fun to explore. And it's like, I, again, I've played through this game several times. I've played through the campaign several times, and I'm still discovering new stuff in its open world. And in its missions. Which I think is amazing. The fact that I still find like new areas and crap. Like, even though the open world isn't as big as something like Breath of the Wild, it's still very content rich in terms of what you can do in the open world. Don't need to give praise when they're only returning lost features. No, but at the same time, like, I'm not going to sit here and be negative about the game all the time. Yes, these features should have been there since launch. They should have been. I'm not going to go and try and, like, say they shouldn't. Uh, or, like, try and defend the fact that they weren't there at launch. Because I 100% agree they should have been there straight away. However, I am going... I'm allowed to be excited that they finally are here. And, I mean, mission replay isn't necessarily something I, I would say had to have been there at launch. Because, quite frankly, again, it's an open-world game. It functions differently. But, I'm allowed to be excited about features coming back. Like, regardless of whether they should have been there at launch. Like, co-op finally being here. Yeah, it should have been there from the beginning. But, better late than never. I'm excited it's here regardless. That's respectable. Can you not... Oh, wait, so much to say. Is the cop live? No, it's just the it's just the flight. It's just the flight. The co-op flight is live, so you need to make sure you signed up and everything. Uh, personally, I really like the open world. I got me issues with it in terms of content and how it limits the scale of the campaign. But for what it is, I love it. Yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, no, because the gameplay is super fun. I just like, really enjoy exploring it. Uh, and at the same time. It's, um, like, the only thing that, I, that, my main issue with the open world is the side missions. They don't really feel like they have any story to them, which I think is super unfortunate. I really wish that the side missions had some story stuff going on. But, uh, like, I will take it for what it is, because I can just keep replaying the side missions for footage. So, <laughs> it's like, I can just, I don't have to play the multiplayer. I can just come on here, do some side missions, record some video footage. It's like, uh, yeah, I really wish the side missions had a bit more to them, because they are kind of, like, underwhelming. I wish you, I wish rather than the side missions just showing up when you capture a fob, it would be much better if you had to speak to marines at the fobs, and they give you the side missions. I think that would be much more entertaining. Um, but, you know. I downloaded the Insider Client, but login fails every time. I'm not too sure. Uh, if you definitely signed up and everything, it might just be one of them where you didn't get access to the flight. Is the player tethering an issue? We haven't been far apart from each We haven't been that far from each other yet. Yeah. Granted, at the minute, we are just doing the main missions, so it's like we haven't needed to be. Bro, these these guys are so annoying to deal with when you're playing with just a plasma pistol. I hate them so much. <laughs> yeah, you put yourself through hell with that. Oh, they, they, they were worse than Chaklock. I died more times to them. Like, I didn't die to Chaklock once, but I probably died fighting them three times. Because they're just so fast and they deal so much damage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are we on legendary then? Yeah. No, we're on heroic. Oh, we're still on heroic. I was about to say, like, this doesn't really feel much harder. Yeah, no. went to When mission replay is available and Combat Evolved, I'm not praising it coming to a modern game. No, but again, Combat Evolved isn't an open world game. Combat Evolved is fully linear. I mean, I wouldn't say. The. The. The open world literally has nothing to do with the game being free to play because the campaign is not free to play. You have to pay for the campaign. So that's not a fair, that's not a justified complaint. Uh, I mean, again, literally name please please name one other open world game that has mission replay. Skyrim sure as hell doesn't. Breath of the Wild doesn't. None of the other Halo games are open world, so of course they would have mission replay. The fact that Infinite is an open world game with mission replay is impressive. Regardless of how you see it, that is impressive. 
Actually, big question here because my game is still downloading. Can you replay the side missions like Ransom? You can. You can also apparently replay HVTs, which is kind of surprising. Right, we heading inside the tower. Same, that same argument with old Halo, as you say. I can't, I can't be in an open mode for that game. Like, they're just two different. Yeah. You know? Yeah. How can you play it on PC? I download the Steam code. Then you uh, you enter your Steam code in wherever you've redeemed the Steam code. It says error. If you're having an error, then I'd look on into like Halo support or like find out. I don't know. I'm not playing it on PC, so I don't I don't know. Technically, you can repl replay the last mission in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, but that's like one mission. I, I wouldn't really consider that mission replay. True, true. Is ODST an open world Halo? No, o ODST has open world segments, but it is not an open world game. It's uh, it's still like relative. It, it still has linear missions, but there is an open world segment to get to those missions. So it is similar to Infinite, but not in the same way. And if you look at the scale of New uh, Mombasa and ODST compared to Infinite's open world, like they're not even comparable. So, uh, no, I would not consider open uh, ODST. Open world in the same regard. The closest thing to mission Sorry. replay in an open world game that you can think of is. Oh, it's tougher than Tremonius, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After you beat Tremonius, you start finding those brutes. Uh, Co-op mode in Elden Ring. Yeah, I mean, I. That, yeah, but that's not really mission replay. You just ha you're just joining someone else while they do the mission. ODST is like a city, a city game. Get it? Haha. <laughs> uh, where do you find the properties? I have no idea. Um. Yeah, like, the, the 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 city part in ODST is open world. However, at the same time, uh, I could be mistaken, but I believe you can't access all of that straight away. You can only explore more of it as you get those new missions. So I, w I wouldn't consider ODST open world in the same way as Infinite. Like, this game has linear missions and open world segments. Yeah, but a lot of those main missions take place within the open world. The tower, the one we are currently doing... Like, although this part now is linear, most of this mission takes place within the open world. How you doing, Viper? I'm streaming for two hours, that's crazy. Yeah, like, the scale of infinite compared to ODST is so much bigger. Oh my god, it's one of them. Oh, there's a... We need to make sure we get the like, upgrade in here. Close, getting close to the tower. Do we, do we strategize here? Should one of us use like plasma weapons to take down his shield or something? Yeah, I, don't, I forget how, the best way to fight him. It's like it's plasma to take down his shield, and then you, you want to hit him with kinetic weapons, then. But does it really matter? Do we really care? Yeah, I got a bulldog. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Chat looks cool, I like Chat Lock. He's a good guy. Yeah, he welcomes you to the tower. Yeah, exactly. I do feel like his voice sounds completely different though. Like, when, you, when you're in the room with him and you're fighting him, his voice sounds completely different to while his voice sounds like here. Yeah. Which I find really odd. It sounds like it's two different people voicing him. Okay, how did I die there? Right, don't don't start Chat Lock yet. I'm just going to get a drink. Um, let me Actually, yeah. I'm just fighting. Uh, just entertain chat for me. <laughs> I'll entertain it, I'll open it up. Oh, I died. Alright, yeah, so, yeah, I'm looking at chat. Let me know what you guys think about co-op. Just everything in general. If you guys been liking, uh, liking what you see. Yeah, the, the tower is a cool level. Music, yeah, I love the music in that too. I picked that up last time I was playing it. The music in the tower is perfect. Yeah, Nathan, yeah, it's, it's a whole new experience. It's a whole new experience, to say the least. It's like, I didn't really do a lot of roaming yet, but, because we're trying to do missions, but you just, it's, a, it's a whole new freedom. Like, when I get the full build, you have a lot more, like, freedom. 
of view track lock takes you to his tower. To... It's a crazy point of view. It's... Track lock's a good guy, man. He's a good guy. He's not trying to torture anyone. He's just he's fronting. He's lying. I gotta say though, Tremonius is really easy with three people on heroic, so I think legendary might be the best. Yeah, I hear you, Foony. Yeah, I hear you, Foony. I think we're about to be ready for him, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. I know your favorite boss in the chat. What's your favorite boss fight in Halo Infinite? Yeah, I heard the PC and Steam's a lot more confusing that, than uh, Xbox. I actually posted a video on my channel. If you want to get it on Xbox, it's a pretty simple process. Posted a video on how to do it. If you're on Steam, though, and on PC, I can't help you. Welcome to my tower. Yeah, Mythic, I'm happy to help, bro. I guess I posted a whole video on it literally like an hour ago. True, Kanye. I agree, Kanye. Hey, Jake is cool. I didn't. I actually didn't fight him yet. I haven't finished the campaign. Got like halfway through and then waited for co-op to come out. Guilty Spark's interesting. Flight is a completely different download, so you don't, you, I don't think you actually have to have Halo Infinite to play the flight for co-op. I think you should have download the flight. Yeah, fair enough. Like I said, man, if you want to buy it, you don't buy it. You know, like, whenever you think it's worth your money, you do that. At least the multiplayer is free, so you can get, like, you know, something for free and just play it. Stay luck. Say what, what, what? The grunt target. Mr. Locke, yeah, we'll see we'll see what Mr. Locke is playing like in co-op once he gets back. Play doesn't pop up if you yo, what's up, Miz? Uh I, I I posted a video on my channel, Miz, if you want to check it out. That's I gotta describe it the best way. You just gotta download the, the Xbox Insider app. Go to activities, just say Halo Infinite Flight, download that. that. It's key. Once you guys download the flight from the, the Xbox hub, you gotta restart your Xbox to actually download it. Restart your Xbox. So yeah, I would say try to restart. Check works perfect for the people with That's crazy. That's crazy BP. That's a crazy comment. This guy this guy Magpie's getting a lot of water, it looks like. Man's getting a lot of water. He's dehydrated. I'm so sorry I took so long. <laughs> and he took it too. But like, my brother to the bad, so I couldn't go. I didn't take it yeah. Uh, Chatlock has for the people with daddy issues. Am I right? I beg your pardon. <laughs> the first calm when you walk. <laughs> what happened to chat? How, how how's chat been? Have they been well behaved? I've been enjoying it. Uh, you know, just a couple questions. I asked, I asked them what their favorite boss was. It's good. It's all good. Good chat. Hey guys. They try to get him, Miz. I don't know. If you haven't already, like, leave a like on the stream, I guess. That would be cool. If we can get, like, I don't know, maybe like 12 likes on stream, that would be really funny. Oh, we're almost at 69 likes. Wouldn't that be hilarious? 
There he is. He's not high. Okay, his health looks pretty beefy. Yeah, he's... Yeah, maybe we should've got a plasma weapon. <laughs> this is, uh... Could be interesting. Ah, uh, I stunned him. I stunned him. Is he still there? I don't see where he is. Uh, wait. Bear with me, chat. I'll catch up in a minute. Oh, the shock rifle's in here. Are these even oh, really oh, gonna be that bad, especially guys? You can't get close, so I'm dead. Oh, oh, you're the one left. We both died. Oh, no. I beat him with just a plasma pistol. What's this gonna be, right? Call you back. Never mind. I'm back. Oh my god, he's close. Oh, you're not getting me. You're not getting me. Plasma pistol. Pulse carbide. Pulse carbide. Like, Bro, he's hunting really me. He is hungry. Come on. Oh, oh I, I, I moved through him and then he killed me. <laughs> I think uh, it was, was Jack's grenade. Yeah. The power you feel when you have a fusion coil in your hand. True! Infinite campaign was good, but the 45 minute... Bro, I think you're talking about the TV show, bro. <laughs> I, I love how I read half a message and then I realize what they're saying and oh, I'm like, what? Smack. I literally just like finished him off with a cheeky little back smack. <laughs> nice. God damn, man. Like, this, this stream's been crazy. I, I'm, I, I actually shocked to have a stream that is like doing this well I, I can't believe like you feel your controller vibrate while he's dying why aren't you guys using your sensors we don't need threat sensors is the co-op available to anyone? As long as you sign up to the flight, yes. We don't need threat sensors. Threat sensors make it too easy. The scene of the campaign was when she finished the hard way, didn't she? That's saying you can't beat the Halo. Good. My favorite part of Halo Infinite is when Master Chief looks into the camera and says it's Haloing time. My flask isn't open. Absolute moron. Was that was Pardon? I just died. You uh, picked that up, Alec. Your, your, your controller vibrates for his heartbeat. Mm. It's funny. It's such like a sad detail. I played through the game five times and did not know that. <clears throat> yeah, I saw it on Twitter. That's how I found out. I love the panic in the pilot's voice here as well. Yeah. Like he's genuinely scared. Because he knows if Chief dies, like that's it. He's screwed. Yeah. Scene oh yeah, the, the the scenes where she finds the dead spawns like this really emotional, which is crazy. Like it's 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 so insane that you like feel that much emotion for characters that you literally do not know. Like you can learn bits about them through the audio logs, but like we get upset about these characters that we don't know just because of how Chief reacts to the death. Now, if Chief just sort of walked yeah. past them, looked at them, and walked away, we probably wouldn't care. But it's the fact that he sort of, like, holds them in his arms, like he's genuinely sad. So the player shares that same sort of emotion. Which, that's that's why, like, you know, Halo Infinite is a well... Uh, its campaign is well written. Its campaign is well executed. Are we taking this war talk? Brothers Day ran off lag. POV, you can feel Griffin's heartbeat as he, as he holds you close. Yeah, it's so sad, man. Oh, pick him up. He's almost dead. Oh my god, what the hell hit us there? We're missing a tire. Oh, get out. Oh, oh, get out. Uh, uh, one final effort. Okay, yeah, now definitely get out. Definitely get out. <laughs> Bro, I that's the, like the first time I've ever really been able to use the Warthog turret in the campaign because the Marines don't drive. Yeah. That is the only time I've ever properly been able to use it, like on a moving Warthog. <laughs> that's insane. Warthog time is the best time. Yeah, like that, that. Just that small segment of using the Warthog was so fun. I think we'll uh, we'll get to Bassus, and I'll think. I think I might call it after Bassus, but we'll get to it. We'll beat Bassus first. 
Unless it... Brain's enough. Brain no wakey. We should have done uh, one of the HVTs, get some of those weapons. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of want Okro's sword. You know the, uh, what's it called? I can't, I can't remember what he's the, the special, the first special energy sword you get. Okay. Yeah, I've, I didn't really mess around with the campaign weapons in campaign. I know them a little bit from multiplayer now. From. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, okay. One thing I've just noticed, they've changed the colour of the fobs because the fobs were the same colour as all the other stuff. They were all blue, which got, like, super confusing when you were looking over the map. But they've actually changed the colours of it, which I think is really good. Okay, yeah. It's a good, it's a good touch. Right, let's capture this fob. <coughs> fob is ours. What's the closest mini-boss? Because I think if we do a mini-boss, get a special weapon, and then head over to Bassus, I believe, is that... Ignovus to the left, the one that gives you the skewer. Let's go deal with him. Yeah, the explosive skewer off him, and that can be super handy. Oh, we can get the, we can get the razor back now. I mean, we can get the warthog too, but I just felt like you know, razor back different. Oh, we can call on the bulldog now. You get the bulldog before the battle rifle and commando. What the hell? Right, let me, yeah, I've marked it nervous. We just gotta get there now. Through the woods OST start is the best start I've heard in any of the Halo music. I love Halo's soundtrack. Like Halo Halo has across the board, every Halo game just has such a phenomenal soundtrack. Yeah, the soundtrack I love in this game. Like when you actually like, listen to it, like like someone said before, like in the tower, when you're gonna fight track lock. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Magpie, are you a man of culture? I mean, I guess that depends. What would you consider a man of culture? He's a man of culture. I'd give it to him. Oh, quickly take out this grunt comms tower. The, the one behind us. Oh, there's some marines up here in there that we can save. Should we save? We'll might as well save them while we're driving past. It'd be fun if we just left them. Work. I think there's a rocket hog here actually. Yeah, there is. Okay, we'll take the rocket hog after we save these marines. I love how like the rocket hog is the last thing you unlock as well for some reason. Like that's so weird. Yeah. Yeah, no, Infinite's, uh, Infinite's soundtrack's amazing. I, I love Endless as one of my favourite of the new, like, additions to the soundtrack. I cannot wait for the story DLC for this game, man. The night and day light effects are amazing, too. Yeah, it, it, it definitely changes the atmosphere a bit. I wish they did a bit more with it, but it was decent. I think Microsoft is. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take the these Marines and this one, and you can get the rest over here. Alright, okay. We take, yeah, we're taking the Marines to fight Knovas then. Just ran the guy over. I almost ran him over yet. <laughs> Bro, he doesn't want to get in. Get in the cop. Okay. Oh, wow, yeah, he walked right by. Yeah, she, she can stay right here. By. She can stay here. <laughs> got a little spiteful. On the beam towers. Are we? Have we gone past Ignovus? I don't actually remember how to get to him. I normally just grapple over the mountain. Hey, you're the leader, and I can lead it. Oh, we got a chopper. Ah, we're not. We're not saving those marines. They can wait. They'll be. Yeah, they'll, they'll be fine. Honestly. Be fine. We got more uh, pressing things to deal with. Oh. I think this is the right way. No, it's not. We're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to grapple over to him. I don't actually know. Yeah, you literally cannot get there in vehicle. There is no way to get up there with a vehicle. Oh. We brought the marines with us for literally no reason because I don't know if they're gonna be able to get up here. Grapple or something. 
the ring rebuilding itself has so little power that it can't make <laughs> rain true. <laughs> Oh, that grunt hit me with that charge shot then. Yeah, okay. That grunt hit me with a charge shot. He took me out. We're actually going to struggle here against Ignovus. Never mind. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. He's down. Never oh, mind. I'm dead. Oh, you're dead. Uh, okay. Oh, Sniper Jackal. Please take him out. Oh, that was close. I'm so close to dying. Are you back? Yeah, I'm back. And then if we go back to the fob afterwards, we can all get one of these uh, spankers, uh, one of these skewers. Nice. I think we're pretty close to the mangler boss as well, but I don't know if we're bothered about doing that one. Yeah. I, I kind of just want to get to Bassus. You should move your face cam to the top right corner. Okay. I think normally it is at the top right corner. I, can't, I think I moved it just last stream and I kind of just forgot to move it back. Is this available for all? Only for people that are signed up to the flight. It's coming out for everyone August. If you choose to fast travel to Fob Echo, you will not lose any progress in your current mission. If you later want to... Wait, so... No, I don't want to fast travel to Fob Echo. I just... Like, I want to fast travel, but not, like, fight it again. Okay, do we have to walk? We'll just... We'll just grapple over the hill. We'll just... I'll mob the... F oh, there you go. Uh... Sunrise. We'll, oh, we'll sunrise head to Fob to Charlie because that one's on the way to the mission. So we'll just capture that fob. Perfect. It's not necessarily a closed beta. It's just one of the flights. Uh, wait, where does the light come from? The ring is flat. A theory, real, on Halo ring. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not looking into the science of a Halo ring. Huh? Aren't these the same marines we already saved? They are. What the hell? We saved these guys. Why is it still marking this as a distress signal? Still, it's still distressed. Oh yeah. <laughs> the one, the rocket hogs back and everything. We brought it's these guys gone. with us. Sons in the universe. Oh no, he's gonna die. Oh, with that. Ah, uh, Marine dead. Sad. For chiefs to leave to attack again. True. Oh, uh, when you look, when you go past the plasma cannon, quick, it, it looks like the fuel rod. Is it, wait, is it the fuel rod? Have we, we, have we saved them now? They're, they're actually saved now. Okay. Do you want to get in the rocket hog? <clears throat> yeah, I'm coming. Right, I've got that. Oh, apparently I do not have the fob marked. Okay. Uh, the marines will be fine. Yeah, they'll be, they'll, they'll live. be fine. They'll live. That's not guaranteed. They're no longer in distress, so they'll be okay. <laughs> Why am I driving? <laughs> <laughs> not a good decision. Oh, you got it. Oh. You're going down a mountain, not much you can... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I don't really think this was the smartest move. <laughs> oh, then again, you know that that way. Yeah, it was a good land. We recovered it. I think this one has waves. No, it does have waves, but I don't. To be fair, yeah, actually, on single player, it doesn't have that many waves. So that's actually different for co-op. There is definitely not usually that many waves of enemies, so you, fair enough. There is actually differences. Um, yeah, we don't need. 
needs going to do that. I kind of want to have the Gauss Hog again, but not in multiplayer. Now, I'd love the Gauss Hog. To be fair, it works fine in multiplayer. And some of them, it's a little busted, but, like, it depends. I think the Halo 4 one's pretty good. Like, it's really strong, but it's also got such a slow rate of fire. I think the best way to do it would be, like, either have it as, like, a really powerful Scorpion-type vehicle, where, like, it's got... So it doesn't spawn, like, a water good. Imagine, like... Uh... Gauss Hog, but with the armor of a Razorback. Like, it's a super unique version of the vehicle. Or if, instead, it's got weaker armor, but does more damage than normal Warthog. Uh, destroy that, uh, Com Tower? Oh, there we go. My bad, I was asleep. <laughs> it's alright. I was off. Yeah, you can use the Gauss and MCC with the mouse. Oh yeah, there's a chieftain at this one. Oh, I got stuck. I'm, I'm, I'm alive though. Oh, I gotta get out. Oh my god. He didn't even melee me, bro. Oh, yo, he just meleeed me. I'm dead. It's off to Jack. Three chiefs versus brute chieftain farm. <laughs> brute chieftains are winning. <laughs> I beat this guy on my own with a plasma pistol, but here with a battle rifle and a bulldog, it's like... What? Granted, this is an heroic. Oh, we'll find, we'll find. Co-op is not like out officially. It's just the flat. You cannot play co-op in Halo Infinite properly. Like, if you were to go on Halo Infinite right now, if you were to boot up your normal version of Halo Infinite, you would not be able to play co-op. Where's that chieftain one? Come here. I was about to swear at him then. Got to break the second helmet. True, true. Bob Charlie is now a banished free zone. Hit that terminal and we'll make it, it official. Fob Charlie is now a banished free zone. Will not let me. Will not let me capture the fob. <laughs> join the Discord, by the way, everyone. Most of you probably already are, but like, if you're not, join the Discord. It's the pinned comments. Then you'll know when I stream. <laughs> He plays legendary only and loves fighting the brute chieftain ultras. Oh, they're they're painful to deal with. What is your favorite new infinite weapon? At launch, it was the shock rifle, but now I don't know how much I agree with that. Mostly because I don't use it as much now. Um, yeah, they've changed the color of fobs, which I think is much better because. Normally they just blend in with everything else, so now they'll be much easier to identify on the on the map. So I think that's great. Um, what's my move? what? What's your new favorite weapon? Relaxed. I don't think of it. I'm thinking. It depends. Like I don't know about like design, but, like just using. I think the heat wave's got to be up there. Yeah, heat wave's pretty weapon. fun. Um. Are we adding over to uh, the next mission? I like the skew, but I, I mean the skew is okay, but it's it's not one of my favorites. I I think it's not as cool as the Spartan laser, but I'd rather have the skewer over the Spartan laser in game, down to the fact that the Spartan laser can be super frustrating to deal with. But um. What, what is right, see you later, Jack. I think Jack's leaving. All right, okay. Wait, so is this is where we get the, the campaign weapons. You said or not? If you go to the, you know, the weapon benches. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you should see the volatile skewer skewer on there, which is the uh, the special version that has like explosive shots. I quite oh, like the stalker it. rifle, mangler, and sidekick. Oh yeah, actually, I forget the sidekick is a new gun. <laughs> I actually forget the sidekick is a new gun. The sidekick, honestly, might be my new favorite. I love the sidekick; it's great. Is it calling a warthog, maybe. I'm already over here. <laughs> I just grappled over here. Oh 
Oh god, okay, I'm My way favorite on. new weapon is the plasma pistol. Shoots fast green boogers. It's like people are mad that it doesn't EMP. Like, it didn't EMP in the first two games. Honestly, I, I, I feel like there's ways they could improve the plasma pistol. Like, if you charge shots... Like, if there's three players in a warthog, you charge shot it, it should take down all of their shields. But, um, for the most part, it's like I'm not that annoyed about the changes to the plasma pistol because let's be realistic uh, people only used it as an emp anyway no one actually used it because they thought it was a good gun people only used it as an emp so why why is it matter that that role has been given to two other guns yeah you could argue it makes the plasma pistol redundant but why would anyone even be that bothered if no one used it anyway <laughs> i probably actually use the plasma pistol more in infant because it's pretty good for taking down shields Wow, you're in a you're in a vaccine shit. Okay, wow. I'm what? Behind. No, oh. I'm coming to ex uh, ex whatever it's called, the mission. Oh yeah. I, I'm not like in here yet. I there's actually okay, so yeah. I know there's one of the marines. They actually hold one of the special battle rifles, and I know you can find the special okay. version of the gravity hammer here too. I'm, I'm coming now to you. Yeah, so I've got the uh, the special version of the battle rifle, which has like a much faster rate of fire. Oh, I see. Yeah. And I think I, I'll show you where the grab hammer is first before we actually start the mission. If I can remember where it is myself. Is it? There's like a little cave around one of these walls. I actually don't know if I remember. Oh, I th I, my, is it here? Nope. Okay, I don't remember. Eiffel Gore. Uh, yeah, for warming in my head, it caused me to sleep off him. Uh, they made the shocks. Uh, they made the shocks and new stuff. Yeah, they should have given the plasma pistol some new stuff. It's not that I necessarily think they should have given it like anything new. I feel like they should just improved what it already does. Um, like obviously, yeah, they took away the EMP, so in turn they should have like give it something else. Okay, normally it doesn't fade to black there, so that must only do that because it's co op, because normally it just like transitions to the cutscene. Yeah, I remember that. In the cave next door. Uh, nah, we'll, we'll go look for it again, my man. I don't want to use any miscure rounds yet because I'm thinking I'll just save them for Bassus. Oh! Bro, they are so annoying to deal with. Yeah, Sam, I'm gonna save it. Pardon? Oh, you skew it. Yeah, no, I'm gonna save it, yeah. Oh, is this the cave actually? Yeah, it's this one. So if you come in here. Oh, come in. This is the rushdown hammer. I believe you move faster with it. Wow. The Ravenger too? I should regular Ravenger. The only bad weapon variant is the Ravager one. Like the Ravager variant is actually worse than the normal Ravager. All the yeah, yeah. all the bullets bounce, so it's like you never hit anything. Oh I'm dead. Oh crap. That's not very good. Dude, get the chopper out. Crap. Bro, my health's so low. Oh no. I'm here. Oh, you're back. You're back. I, I, I don't know how I feel about the fact that you respawn with the same weapons. Like, on the one hand, I think it's like a good thing. But at the same time, it's like, if you die, and you have, like, no ammo in your guns, and then you respawn, and you've still got no ammo in your guns. That happened to me before, I had no, no ammo my sniper. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of annoying. Right, we need to get in there first, and then we need to do the, t like, the little towers, don't we? Um, okay. Uh, when we get like the little tower things pop up, we take in one side each. Like you go left, I go right, sort of thing. I figured that'd be 
Yeah, I guess. I, I figured that'd be good. Guess we're a bit quicker then. Nice, nice. Still 38 people in, on stream. How's everyone doing? You've all been here for a long time. <laughs> Right, which way? Uh, which which way are you going? Left or right? Uh, pick your points. I'll let you choose. Uh, okay, I will go left. I think you're right. Yeah. Okay. You're left. Okay. Does the skewer pick up regular skewer skewer ammo? No, right? Uh, no, no, it doesn't. And the only one of the ammo things like they let you pick up is the power ones, which are like super rare. Right. That'd be a shame if it's like you know kills us for uh, being too far. Oh yeah. Look, luckily there's enough of a thing you'd like to explore this like area fully. Yeah. I don't know what else to do. This doesn't log in for some reason. Um, I, I, maybe you just haven't been accepted into the flight. I don't really know what to yeah, tell Xbox, you. it seems like everyone gets it. He's what I saw. Yeah, I've only really seen people have issues on PC. Same. Oh, jeez. Abakazi, Grant. Oh, Alright, I'm with you now. Alright, fair enough. Right, there'll be two of these that pop up. If you want, go for the one that pops up like right there, and I'll go for the one in the cave, yeah, the, the further one. So, like, these are the best parts of combat. It's like it gives you the option to sort of split off and do your own thing. Yeah, I guess, yeah, it's like it's. Mission plays out perfectly for that, I feel like. Yeah, exactly. It's like you can get through it so much quicker. Got this one over here. Hello, uh, Roger Waffle Sniffling Acorn Yogurt. <laughs> I'm new to the channel. Subscribe! <laughs> Join the Discord! <laughs> and all the bells and whistles! Welcome to the channel! Hey, Magpie, what gives you problem. more anxiety? Being chased by a one hit enemy or having shields off all the time? Being chased by a one hit enemy, like when you're being chased, that literally can put the fear of God into you. Like this enemy that you know Weird. if he gets close to you, you are dead. Oh, okay. I'm new to the channel and I gotta say I hate it so far. All right, thank you. That was that was really nice. <laughs> that was that's made my day. Messages. Does anyone know when this will complete? Yeah, it comes out during August. Co-op launches in August. Oh jeez, yeah, the fan of melted. Man. Oh wow, yeah, he's uh. I want to stay away from that. Oh, that's good advice. I can't believe Mr. Waffle Sniff is sniffing acorn yoga would say that to me. No, I'm really upset now. Oh, I'm dead. I, I wow, we went down. He's, he's throwing me off. He's throwing me off with his harsh, mean words. <laughs> First restore of the night. Someone on YouTube said they don't like my channel. No, I'm depressed. <laughs>
I had someone on my Discord server the other week. Uh, well, it was like a couple yeah. weeks ago now. Um, and they were saying like that they've been. They were saying like cross core would be bad and all that sort of stuff. And they mentioned that they've been a Halo fan since 1995. Wow, that's like before Halo. Even I was before. like, I was like, that's interesting because Combat Evolved wasn't revealed until 1999, and he was like, that's... yeah, but my uncle worked at Bungie, so I knew about it in like pre development, like while well, it was being developed, and I was like, oh, that's that's crazy because the game didn't start development until 1997. <laughs> I was gonna say you got you got to work for Microsoft at that point. I'm in Bungie. Well, know? well, what's funny is he then said, actually, my uncle worked for Gearbox who played a big part in making Halo what it is, which also is not true. <laughs> all they did was the PC port. So he was just, like, fabricating all these lies, and because I was calling him out on it, he started, like, just insulting me. <laughs> like, he started insulting everyone in the Discord server, calling us, like, cool. children and all this sort of stuff, and it's like, uh, okay. He was, like... a random Discord server. It was, a. Uh, okay, I gotta go see you later, Magpie. It was good seeing you play. Yeah, cheers, man. Thank you for stopping by for so long. I really appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, no, he was like saying all this stuff. Is is yours still loading? Still loading. Maybe uh, maybe dying isn't in the in the code. <laughs> True. Um, but he was like saying all this stuff, uh, and he kept saying like, "Oh, I've got like I've got some concept art from 1996," and I was like, "That's still not the original year you said, but whatever." Uh, but he wouldn't send it to anyone. He said we had to DM his account on Instagram, and it's like, okay, why can't you just send <laughs> it to the Discord server? Like, uh... Back in the day for Xbox 360, be like, oh, my dad works for Microsoft. Like, it literally was one of those moments. Yeah. He was like, my uncle works for Bungie, and it's like, okay, buddy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you want to reboot hold? the game? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, sh yeah, I guess we'll... But yeah, he was like saying all this stuff. It was so funny, man. It was so sure. funny. And he was getting so mad when I was calling him out. And then he kept changing the subject, and he kept changing, like, he kept contradicting his points. That's great. Gotta love it. Gotta love the white lies. People are trying to, you know. That's the thing, though. If you're gonna lie, if I'm gonna lie like that, I'm gonna have my facts straight. You know. Better just come more prepared. My opinion. Nah, oh, yeah. Nah, oh, people. People are, like just insane. People are insane. People are funny. They make me laugh. Yeah, boy. Continues. Yeah, Halo was an RTS game, then a third person shooter before even being a first person shooter. Exactly, but like even then, it still didn't start development until 1997. <laughs> like, <laughs> this guy was seen, he's been a fan since 1995. He was a fan two years before the game was in development, apparently. Mind reader, he just, you know. uh, he, like I was like, he was like going on about like uh, all this stuff, and I was like, "Where's your source, bro?" It was, you, you ever seen the meme where it's like, "Oh, it was revealed to be in a dream." That was him. <laughs> Better you know. I unlocked this. This is the like only issue is like sometimes with the reboot, but it should. It literally continues right where you were, so that's good at least. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I unlocked the ultimate reward this week on Infinite. I wasn't expecting to. Uh, I wasn't really planning on doing it because it's just a visor and it's like I'm not really that bothered. But then a lot yeah. of the challenges would just get sidekick kills, get assault rifle kills, and I was like, I've done about half of them already. I might as well just go for the ultimate reward. Yeah, they got a lot easier. I'm still not tier 100 either, so <laughs> I'm like three tiers off. Yeah, I finished the pass, and yeah, all I play is ranked. That's why, like, I like I missed the black visor for reach. I was mad about that. I didn't get the but, black yeah. reach visor, and I didn't get the black Mark Seven visor. Yeah, bro, I remember. I was getting the. I went for the Mark Seven. It was like the day before it resets. Yeah. And I was a couple hours before it resets. I had one challenge. It was, I think, win a strongholds game, and like oh. I played quick play for literally two hours by myself. Yeah. I didn't even get a strongholds game. Like literally just. I got like something else every time. So, yeah, it was, it was upsetting. Challenges. So, if if uh, I can't, if I can't do my challenge in big team battle, I swap that challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I I will like make a few exceptions because I don't oh, want to use up all my challenge slot and swaps, but like for the most part. Oh yeah, yeah sorry, yeah, let me just catch up. Wait, so uh, legendary or? Again. 
Uh, we'll carry on on heroic. Carry on, good. Uh, that true, they did create Combat Vault in eight months, but I'm glad they're bringing all the content. Yeah, it's really cool, that is. Uh, source, trust me, bro. That basically was what he was saying. He was literally like saying this and like, oh, you just gotta trust me. My challenges were mostly land grab. I, if I have land grab challenges when the entrenched event isn't on, I get so mad. Because <laughs> it's like, I don't want to play land grab. I don't want to play land grab. I don't find it fun. I just want to play Big Team Battle. And it's like. Yeah, I'm not happy with land grab either. Let's just start it. I find it so weird when it's like you get challenges for event modes when the event isn't on. Yeah. Both the Fracture events have been so mid. I mean, I was making a video today. Like, I've recorded the audio for, like, two different videos today. One of them is about Fracture events, and I was, like, editing that, and they, was, like, they, they dropped the court flight, and I was like, ah, I should probably go and stream that instead. Yeah. I, I, I think they got to bump it up to, like, 50 tiers, to be honest, for me to, like, really... 50, like, at least 50 tiers. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, well, it comes on six times. I don't necessarily think this should be 60 tiers because ma the vast majority of people wouldn't get it. But I feel like 40 at the minimum would seem more acceptable. Yeah, I the don't know. It's, yeah, it's pretty easy. Like, I'm not even trying to get it. I'm at, like, 27, so I'm on pace to, like, get yeah, it. Yeah, I think I'm early. 26. I was, I would, uh, the only reason I'm not higher is because I didn't do all of them the first time the event was on because I couldn't be bothered. I didn't want to play the mode. Yeah, same for the second part. Um, but it's like I do kind of, uh, I, I do want all the stuff because I think the entrenched cosmetics are really cool. Um, yeah, but just as a whole, the event's like super underwhelming. I, didn't really I agree. I'm well, excited that. for this event. They said, like, I don't know whether we're going to get, like, a cutscene or, God forbid, like, a mi mission for the multiplayer story. We'll, we'll get a cutscene, but it'll just be one of those, uh, you know, how, so we had, like, the season cutscene, but then we had the ones of just the commander standing there talking. It was basically just, like, okay. a glorified audio log. Those are the cutscenes we're getting. I think they've already been leaked. It's literally just character stands there and tells you to play the last spot standing. That's all it is, which sucks. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a little beefier. I, I mean, the, the the little teaser trailer they dropped, like, sort of alludes to the fact that there's going to be some more story going on. Like, it's alluding to the fact that Erratus might be corrupting the player, but I know damn well that's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. They're just setting false expectations with it. It's like, the, the, we know they're making little changes to Last Spartan Standing, but if anything, that will probably just be like, um, the, the, like, change the spawn weapons or something like that. True. It'll just be, oh, we don't have the disruptor anymore. Is co-op already out? No, co-op is not out, like, fully. It, this is just the flight. I didn't want to have to use my skewer, but uh, to deal with those, like, the uh, shade turrets. Oh, okay. I just have one. Yeah, I haven't used it. I keep, just keep meleeing people with it. <laughs> use it once. Oh, I missed. Well, I missed. I forget an idiot. I, and I died. Oh, we're both dead. Oh... If the I game don't. breaks, I swear to God. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, hopefully, we get the same situation. So I really gotta stay alive. Yeah, this is like one of the hardest missions. That's it. Yeah, it's because there's like so many enemies. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, 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 I want the, I want the cosmetics and alpha pack. But okay, I died as soon as I spawned. Uh, I want the cosmetics and alpha pack, but as an event, I'm not that bothered about it. Like, I do not yeah. want my spawn standing. It just seems like it's just, it's I don't know the modes kind of could take you out. Yeah, it's it's such it's such a garbage mode. <laughs> it is not a good game mode. It's so it tries to mix too many things together. It's like it tried to be battle royale, but it also tried it's like got gun game yeah. elements with like the random weapons and crap. That's what happened. I liked it at first, like for like a week and a half. For some reason, like I just like never had the the. Need to ever go back to it. Yeah. Like after it. after the event ended, I have not touched it. To be fair, I didn't even like it for a week and a half. I didn't like it for a full day. I tried it and I was like, this I, is not terrible. I and then I played like a little it. bit more I and I was like, it. never mind. Yeah, I liked it, but there was just nothing that brought me back to it. Weird. It didn't help that like you could only play on one map during that first like two weeks as well. Yeah. It was like there was no reason to play this mode. After the yeah, that challenges, was that was it. There was no reason to play it. They should keep that in for like a day so people could just play Breaker once. Oh, I hate Breaker. Yeah. I hate Breaker so much. It's such a garbage battle. <laughs> so terrible. G give me a give me your reasons why. I know you said you're making a video on it, but. Uh, it's just. You... it's the, the layouts and the weapon spawns. I mean, the fact that, like, so there's two different types of sniper that spawn at the base. Oh, yeah. Both the, worst, the sniper rifle and 
either the stalker yeah. rifle or shock rifle. So it's like that promotes people camping. And it's literally, yeah, it's, it's like duck hunt for them, literally. <laughs> and then, it, obviously, if you're not the one camping, someone on the enemy team is. And then the fact that there's only three vehicles that ever spawn. The Warthog, the Ghost, and the Mongoose. There's no Rocket Hog. There's no Choppy. There's no Razorback. It's always the same three vehicles. I, I, I'm, I'm perfectly okay with it not being, like, a Scorpion or anything like that. But the fact that there's no, like, uh, the, I mean, I feel like the Wraith would work. Because the Wraith's an artillery vehicle. So you can fire from halfway across the map. That would that, work. perfect, yeah. Um, but the fact that there is absolutely nothing, uh, like no other vehicles other than those three, it gets super boring. Um, True. There's also the fact that if I you try it. to use vehicles on that map anyway, it's like almost completely pointless. Because yeah, you, you, only, you only have two routes. That's the ramp in the middle and the tunnel. If you go down the tunnel with a vehicle, someone will throw a dynamo grenade at you. You will get EMP'd. And then they will just spam grenades and your vehicle will blow up before you've even had the chance to do anything. And then if you jump across the map, similar situation, you will get hit by a dynamo grenade. But this time, rather than getting uh, a bunch of grenades thrown at you, you'll just get sniped out your vehicle. So, yeah, it's, vehicles feel pointless. It's literally not a BTV map. It's literally just like for that last one standing. It, you know, like that, like the metal debris part. It's like, that's like useless. It's like, it's in your base, but... It's, it's... I wouldn't necessarily say that. For, for me, it's like they tried to design a competitive map for Big Team Battle. Like, they removed a lot of the Big Team Battle elements for that map. It feels like it was something that was d designed more so for competitive play, but it's labelled as a Big yeah, Team Battle yeah. map. It's like a map that was too yeah. big for competitive. Yes, that's fair. Um, but then it's like, like, all the combat always takes place in the same area. It always takes place in the, you know, the banished complex yeah. at the, like, right side of the map, depending where you spawn. Uh, yeah. All the combat takes place there, and it's always the same situation. One team sits inside with close-range weapons like shotguns, heat waves, um, or melee weapons, while the other team tries their hardest to push. Regardless of what mode you're on, it's always the same. That is always the area that people fight over. It's either that, or it's just people spamming grenades down the tunnel. I love it. Yeah, it gets toxic, toxic on the map. You I see? remember I was raging on it like less than a week ago. I was just like sniped everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's just not fun. Like, when people just come as well, it's like, so you have the area above the tunnel, too, where, like, don't get me wrong, the first couple of times people did, it was like, oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. You 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 got me off the map with a disruptor and launched me into lava pool. That was, like, kind of skillful, I guess. But now everyone yeah. does it, and they don't earn it either. They just wait up there, waiting for someone to walk past. They don't play the game. They just wait just up there, just wait for someone to walk past. Sitting there. It's like that shows no skill. You just you just camped up there waiting for someone to walk past. You're not good at the game <laughs> for doing that. Yeah, also, I agree. The tunnel agree. choke point is also ridiculous. Yeah, the t the tunnel's awful. Uh, do you think Breaker will be good for infection? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I feel like uh, possibly because I feel like there's enough cover for the infected. However, there's also a lot of open space, which I feel like if you're playing as the infected, that will get super annoying. I like. Pun. Infection Halo for you asking for a lot right there. I don't know. Yeah, I, I I'm very curious to know how Infection is gonna work because is it gonna be Sidekick and Bulldog? I feel like the Bulldog's definitely gonna make it a bit more unique because obviously with a shotgun you can reload one bullet at a time. So if you have hordes of infected running at you, you can like sort of reload on the go while they're running at you. But with the Bulldog that isn't the case. You have to reload the entire clip. But then it's like the sidekick has a super fast rate of fire and is going to one-shot all the infected in the head. So it's like, that's going to be super annoying if that is the primary weapon. Right. Unless, like, you are very limited to your ammo. So if it's like two weapon cl two ammo clips, then I feel like that would balance it a bit. Okay. Uh, but I'm very intrigued to see how the bulldog is going to be used in infection. Yeah, I mean, we might get the pump back. I, I firmly believe we'll get the pump eventually. I, I know we will eventually. I, I'd be curious yeah. to know if that is going to get added with Infection. Because I feel like if that's the case, a lot of people will be really happy about that. And that is the best time for it to be added. Yeah, I can't really make a better time. Right, wait there. Let me go fill up my ammo. I think there's ammo. Kin kinetic bullets around here. Could be wrong. Yeah, Shmonius with two people. But maybe he won't. I'm not Shmonius. Bastus. Yeah, Bastus. He, might, he might be a little... Bastus might, might actually be a challenge. Fight. Yeah. Right, let's do this. You ready? Um, coming right. Yeah, I'm coming back. Do it. I'm back. Been doing laundry all afternoon. Welcome back, Echo. How you doing, man? 
man, the myth. Bosses! My goat! He's a savage, this guy. True. I wish we had more of him. Why is he only just here for like a tiny little bit? Big guy. I need, I need a, a whole like animated series about Batas. Season two of the Halo TV series should be scrapped entirely and just uh, give us a Bassus TV show. Yeah, I like how crazy is he hear him? He's just, he's just screaming. Oh, that that skewer destroyed his shield. Oh, I skewer. oh no. See, he's just focused on you right now. Yeah. I take that back. I think you. Wait, no oh, mind. Yeah, the skewer is really just a melting. It's a cheat code. Bro, <laughs> his health. He's got he's he's got a jump he's got a vertical on him. He's jumping. Uh, a lot of banished bases would be a fun fire fight. Oh, honestly, there's like um, like they could literally use the, the the banished bases that you come across in the campaign. They could literally just use them as fire fight maps. Oh shit! They killed me. Bro, he's so close to death. What's he doing? Okay, his, eye, his AI seems a little bit busted on co-op. Like, you went under there and he tried to hit you, even though you are underneath the floor. Yeah. He's holding that dementia. <laughs> okay. One more shot from the skill might kill. Never mind, I missed. <laughs> he went straight through. Okay, there we go. There you go. RIP. The skewer made it so much easier, I too, I feel like. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like without the skewer, it would have probably taken a bit longer to beat him. To be fair, though, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Watch this. Yeah. I'm going to probably come off. This has been very fun. Thank you for coming on. Of course, bro. Yeah, we can finish it uh, whenever you hop back on him, down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be f is it? Do you want to wait till Corp fully comes out, and then we can actually finish your actual save file? True. Yeah. I mean, we could get. I think there's like a look like we could do this again, and then I'll be at where I was. So if you, you know, whatever you want to do, let me know. Yeah, we'll do. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave the stream there. Thank you everyone for watching. It's been a crazy stream. It's unironically been absolutely insane. Thank you all for watching. Thank you. Relaxed. Welcome.